Y'all ready? Well, I'm not. Keep going. Uh, we would like to welcome all the new members of our audience today. Uh, Hell yeah. Got if, you, if you've out. never been to a live trap taping, uh, this is an interactive ghetto show. Mm -hmm. uh, if something is, if you feel something on your heart, say that shit. Say that shit. Don't hold it. You know, you can interject, but don't interrupt. Uh, feel free to talk about the nigga suit the whole time he here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, glad. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, for real. We can't fuck with you, bro. You know goddamn well you couldn't come in here looking successful. Then you like trying to do better than us. Hell yeah. yeah. Car Max manager looking at me. Um, we're going to jump in at any moment. We're going to play some music. Make sure you get the vibe going right. Y'all get y'all welcome to drink and smoke and all that. Anybody go go to the bathroom and shit? Because it's over there. We really, you have to cut across cut. Well, can bring your ugly ass up here, Jimmy. The bring your social security looking ass on over here. Social hey, security. Social you security can, suit. Hey, yo, you can use the bathroom. It's, it's ass suit wearing ass nigga. Make sure you leave the seat up. <laughs> he look like the nigga that come with niggas scamming, nigga. You get caught, nigga, you with the go, suit on after the door, nigga. Nigerian chicks. Tyler, around. you got him, right? I just make sure like that if they have a cut across, they go behind the counter. Do the fuck up. Anything. Hey, I like that. I know. You, run. you know how I do. I gotta get me some pre show in. Cause I don't never just say it all. Hello, welcome back. Nope. I got to oh, chill for a minute. Get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Let the spirit fill the room up. Smoke some dope or something. Y'all niggas ain't smoking? You niggas ain't smoking? Let me hit it. Let me oh, shit, I forgot. Let somebody throw this to the sofa. You know hey, what I'm nigga, you can't even move around. Sat on the sofa so long, this shit done got into my nerve system. I can't come over there. I got you. That's the only time niggas get polite. I got you, my nigga. Get the lead. South Show was voted the number one comedy show amongst black people between the ages of 13 and 73. No way. Damn, we covered Real shit. the demographic. God, Real damn. shit. I'll cover this, man. I'm proud of you. I'm you know, since this life. show came out, black births have increased, I think it was 6%. Yeah, this show two hours. Niggas ain't niggas fucking at an hour and thirty minutes. They're just letting sure. us run in the background. Exactly. Right. They just hear y'all talk. Right. Right. We didn't replace the Netflix yeah. and the, are y'all still watching? Niggas Let me tell you how I knew we had made it. Uh huh. When I was on X videos and I heard our shit playing in the background. <laughs> I knew then. And then when I was on Pornhub, I, you I a real porno cool. nigga to know X what videos. What's in the inside of this? God, Most people know porn hubs, nigga. X videos, you watch porn for think real. You hit the motherfucker. Yeah, what's in this, nigga? Uh oh, what y'all niggas doing to me? That nigga, yo, bro, about to turn into another nigga. It's too, it's, it's too, it's too like barrels in the back, like it's a gun. It's a filter. This nigga here, man. I don't know about this. <laughs> Hey. Come on. Hey. What you want to do? 
one not the two. Carlos Miller, I'ma throw the bitch to you. I said, Ooh. Chico, I ain't really want to go there. That nigga walked up and started rapping out of nowhere. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is this nigga? He was like, I got the bitch and she be sucking on the nigga. I'm like, what? What'd he say? Is this for real? Is this for play? I don't know. Uh, what the fuck was all of that about? He was welcome to stay. I might kick this nigga out. Because I don't like his suit and I don't like his shoes. His socks don't match. Did you notice that, dude? I, I did. It was crazy. Nigga dressed lazy. I bet he got a real old lady. <laughs> <laughs> or a he... big bitch named Stephanie. <laughs> that I always want to lay next to me. And rub on my nipple and my chest. And tell me that I'm good and it's her destiny to be my baby mama. I don't fuck with her though, cause she got that black meat in her leg and I know that she gon' cheat. Ooh. The first chance that she get, cause I'm gon' wear a rubber, pull it off and jack it in. Oh, yeah, I do, I do shit like that. Ooh. I do shit <laughs> just like that. Hey Ooh. man, we in that bitch. Young Drew in the building. Yeah, Young sure. Drew, the legend. Flip flop, Waffle House, chair paint. What you think, Drew? Yeah. That's all, nigga. Whip don't come out the fall, nigga. Whoop a nigga ass with a tall nigga. Who is the tall nigga you whoop a nigga ass uh, with? At the time, it was Josh Smith. Oh, okay. Yeah, me and Shotta might have hooked up just to whoop a nigga ass. Oh, you meant like you I was come. gonna actually jump a nigga. I thought you meant you was gonna take a tall nigga and literally whoop the nigga ass. That's some ass. barbaric shit. Yeah. No. I, I know what you mean. I knew you was whooping nigga like, ass with like, a tall like, nigga. Like, I didn't know he knew a tall Shout nigga and was gonna be like, let me whoop shot ass. I thought right. he was just gonna grab a tall nigga and be like, whoa, whoa. I whoop your ass with a giant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he said, I don't give a damn you to me. We're gonna stomp you out of here today. <laughs> we also got Did the you young OG you in the building, my boy Lou in the building. Y'all don't even know nigga, Lou, Young Lou, OG. Lou. Oakland's finest hella hoes, hey, nigga. But see, a lot of people got it fucked up and think that you gotta be the old nigga to be the OG. This nigga is the young OG. And when he was younger than that, he was the young OG to himself. So this nigga basically raised I'm himself. Damn, nigga's yeah, his own father. OG right. out this motherfucker. Uh, nigga's right. his own Man. father. By dude. the time he's 60, that nigga gonna be like a 13 time OG. I'm gonna be a coach. I ain't gonna be a player no more. By the time I get 60, I'm talking about right. I'm just coaching the player. And I know you're gonna live to be at least 80 cause the nigga 31 now, but he looked 13. <laughs> yeah. He got that NBA 2K so creative he player. Thir- so like, he looked 31 like, backwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, you know when you like first get the creative player on 2K? I'm 26, but I've been fucking around early. Yeah. So I added another six years on it because I was outside. You right. know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, when they was at recess, you know what I'm saying? I was in the car with the bra, you know what I'm exactly. saying? All type of shit. Yeah, that nigga yeah. used to sit behind the bus driver, squeeze her titty all the way to school. Oh, wait a minute. That was me. My bad. Sometimes I be getting that shit mixed up. You never know. Man, we in here, man. We got the legendary one, Young Dro, man. Man, listen, man. Sure. You know what I mean? See, we had him at the other studio. Yeah, we, we did. We ain't never had him in the trap. We ain't never had him in the trap, man. And he came through and did 80 Vibe with us, man, which was a, a, a whole blessing, man. Seeing you work is, is, is amazing. Like, just seeing how you just really still get a passion to the music and all, even after all these years, man, it's amazing to watch. Like, and it's honor to be amongst a legendary nigga such as yourself, Snell. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like, sure. you know, like being in the entertainment industry, you you get to know motherfuckers outside of the entertainment industry, but then it's like, this nigga walk in on some joke shit, talking shit, but then it's like, that nigga flip that switch. And then like, yeah, damn, I ain't know the nigga was gonna hey, no, like that. The niggas, the hardest <laughs> niggas be hella funny. I be like, boy, I be scared like, nigga, is it good to roast back? <laughs> you got you 80 good. niggas with Long- you. Niggas, you really enjoy yourself? Are you trying to set me up this to get mad? This is the that shit. Long as everybody laughing, you still good. Yeah. When, when niggas stop laughing, and you don't like, oh. Yeah. See, that's how this shit got personal. Exactly. Man, yeah, man, you brought your people through with you too, man. Yeah, man, we okay. down the street in Joyland, man. We just pull it up. Man, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Got a, you got a real collective group of niggas. You don't yeah. know what y'all do from the way y'all walk in. Yeah, yeah. y'all turned the trap into one the nigga, motherfucking one trap. One nigga with yeah. a suit on, another nigga. Just y'all just know that out. nigga? Yeah, that's how that motherfucker. I knew y'all. I just thought the nigga was just a nigga who seen some niggas. Yeah, and, and then walked around in. the corner and pulled up like, oh shit, I'm with these niggas. I've been around these white folks all day. That goes some niggas. Yeah. Not hanging with me, then bust out rapping. 
<laughs> oh, I would have had to eat it. Nah, but I'm real. That nigga kicked that shit. He kicked that shit. Nah, he kicked that he shit. Kicked he that kicked that, that, that shit, shit right off, nigga. Look, when he came out the bathroom, he came out the bathroom. That nigga was in the bathroom like motherfucking yeah, eight yeah, miles, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Don't know, you know, don't. every nigga got rapping in his back pocket. You know what I'm talking about? He like, just in case this real estate shit don't work, nigga. I got these bars. <laughs> but guess what, though? You don't never, you don't never supposed to walk in a room without leaving without everybody knowing who you are. Oh, that nigga definitely know how to leave an impression. Oh, mamas. That's how I, that's how, that's how nigga I am. When I, I seen that nigga I'm with that suit on, that little sister sock, I was like, that nigga serious. That nigga said little sister. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of niggas don't have the heart to do that, so salute to you. We done had a lot of motherfuckers on here to be scared to, you know, let that hang out, man. So salute to you, nigga. You Speaking I mean? of heart, nigga, you fucked them up again. Oh, you know it. Oh, I you seen it on the ground. I seen bro. it too. You seen it, nigga? I'm ready for that motherfucker. Oh, listen, nigga, I got the motherfucking pop. Woo! Pimp my ride! Nigga. This nigga right here been waiting to get on the motherfucking braids, nigga. I see you, nigga. Yeah. Don't start. I know. Me neither, hey. bro. If you don't start nothing, I won't start nothing, nigga. Yes. Hey, Chico, them motherfuckers are better than I fuck, though. They actually connected. Yeah, oh, no, my shit growing back in the middle. Up yeah. here, I'm fucked up, but it's all good. Yo, shit, guy, you can walk around like that. Man, listen, I can make anything cool, nigga. Yeah. I tell people all the time, Damn, I wore size 13 shoes in middle school, nigga, when I really wore nine. And niggas couldn't Whoa. do shit with me. After yeah. that, I was like, nigga, I can do anything. I can oh, walk wow. around. Bro, I'm telling you, nigga, they... Greatest joke ever told to me, nigga called me Bobby's World because my head was big <laughs> and my shoes was long. <laughs> <laughs> Size 13, nigga. Hey, my man, mama. Went up a couple more, man. Oh, you <laughs> think that shit funny? He and him <laughs> saying it. Wait till you see the picture. Oh, yeah, it's real life. You was a young life. OG too, then. Oh, nigga, my, I don't know who my mama was fucking with that was giving her them big ass <laughs> shoes, my nigga. The nigga had a shoe in his motherfucking middle of his shin. It was just like he stuck his whole leg in that bitch. I was like, what? nigga. Real life. And niggas, and he and lucky I was to be alive. Cool. He could have had lunch himself. and everything in his shoe, like a sandwich, <laughs> <and> milk. <laughs> No backpack, just eat, shoes. I'm eating around here. <laughs> Beard at recess. Yeah, you have it. Chilling, grabbing but this yeah, shit. But yeah, man, you the nigga. The, when you sent me that shit from ESPN, bro, I thought it was fake. Man, this nigga, the ESPN, like the, he had a meme go viral of him when he had the half of the braids was out. Oh, swear. Man, that shit was going crazy. ESPN posted the shit the other night. Why, why ESPN the, posted this nigga head? It they was like using basketball? like the no, meme. No, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> but. <laughs> That was smooth. I like that, but fuck you, man. You was holding that one, you dirty motherfucker. I didn't even got But there it go right there. Let me see. see, that's why he the young OG. Oh, shit. I thought shit. that was Marvin Gaye. No, that's Marvin Gaye. Uh, nigga, you popping, nigga. Uh, yeah, you see it? Nigga, don't let a nigga like me get on ESPN. Nigga, I'm telling you, I had the Shaquille Sunflower off Martin, brother. That's how you know a nigga proud of you. Don't let a nigga like me get on it. <laughs> yeah, nigga, Ooh, that, that go crazy. All that's the way funny, crazy. too. They went all the way crazy, man. Damn. Yeah, but that's just, you know, confidence, man. You know what I mean? That's you really what this shit about. Shit, Y'all right playing with me. Stop oh, bro, you a legendary <laughs> nigga. You didn't goddamn, you had niggas dressing like you for at least three years straight, oh, consistently. Man. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember that. Yeah, that yeah. nigga like caused them. a lot of conversation. You done, done motivated a lot of hood niggas. Everybody got a partner that look just like you. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Like, nigga, yo, hood partner, you like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, he so. was going way too hard with the polo for a minute. Even Ralph Lauren was like, what the fuck do we get this shit? <laughs> 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 I, at, one, at one point in time, we did go crazy and sit on this shit, though. I remember. You had niggas that wearing was... them soft ass boat shoes, too. That's your fault. You trying to like the tacos? No, nah, like the spares, the top sliders and shit. That's all you. I, yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I was a part of that. Yeah. Where, where that come from? Like, where you get that, that motivation from to be able to just say fucking and do you, you know what I mean? Because that style wasn't a style before you created it for real. Like, I mean, it was. You just got to look. Through the lines, it ain't nothing new on the earth. I mean, I know, but I'm talking about as far as nationally known. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, I, I picked it up from um, Carlton. Oh, you know what man, I, I took, I took his together. dress code and, and put it with my ghetto little thing going on. You feel me? And the shit worked. It worked. Mouthful of goals. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. six at the top. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Raffling yeah. up. You know what I mean? It probably then tuck your shirt in. You know what I'm saying? Keep the white boy, but when you smile, it's gonna give you away. Yeah. You feel me? So. He got a whole ingredients to this shit. Right. It makes God so much damn. sense. Yeah. And it's very, it's very seldom that somebody even give you that. Like that nigga just lifted the lid and was like, this is sauce that's cooking. And he just shut this shit <laughs> Like he just let you peek. If you ain't got the sauce, you didn't even know he lifted up the <laughs> lid. And you know what? You didn't even see it. As black you. men, it's very important for us to discuss the sauce. Yeah. Oh, mama. So I, I got all kinds of sauce. You can't even barbecue without calling me. Yeah. Like. 
can't even barbecue without calling me. You gotta hit me. I got all the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Honey mustard. Uh, tell your hoe I got duck sauce. You know what I'm saying? I go right in there. You hear me? And I be having that shit so far on me, I gotta get it surgically removed off of me, too. You hear me? That shit be falling. Last week I got an outfit stitched on me. All the way out here bleeding. <laughs> This nigga, this though, nigga just said he take get this shit. outfit off, take your ass to the hospital. This nigga got to go get his outfit surgically removed, yeah, nigga. Man. That's another level I'm of fresh saying, right there. We'll be having that shit on, having that shit on, on. You understand me? Yeah. It's on, I be having that shit on. You'll be having that shit on, on. On oh, mama's. Yeah, on oh, mama's. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's that? <laughs> Stop playing with me. Hold on, this my baby mom. Oh, that bullshit. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we done heard. Yeah, them hey, boy. Anytime your baby mama call you in the dark outside, <clears throat> you got shit to do with them kids. It's some more shit. It's, that's that's a hell of an analogy. You ever think I ain't about never that? If about your baby mama shit. call you in the dark outside, you ain't got shit to do with them kids. That's crazy. That's what she real. Called, what if she called the police on you in this dark outside? Damn, why that you mean that she been waiting. She was going to call him earlier. She had to talk to you one more time to confirm that she was gonna call him though. But as a nigga, you don't know. This is really the last chance. Damn, that seems so stressful. Damn. That's why I only I got, got one. I just got for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I can't. I only got I don't one. Want no baby look, mama, look boy. at me. God, God, damn, damn. You, you the only one over here who don't have no baby mama. Yeah. You still got a chance. Listen to me when I tell you this. I'm looking at y'all niggas stress. Don't the stress your, on y'all face look, now since y'all mentioned baby mama. Pick your baby mama. Don't let your baby mama happen to you. Like, listen, read the Bible, ask right. God who to be with. Right. <laughs> look. Don't do it with yourself. Don't look, you find the one baby you want to nut in. Friend. You be like, I can deal with her. No, you can't. Don't let them, don't let the motherfucking universe pick your baby the mama. The one you right. want is I the feel one like that y'all supposed to be there. Putting a curse out of you. The one you want so bad. It's been to happen since y'all giving me this game. Them six months that pussy hidden is good. You want to cry in it, but this ain't the bitch. <laughs> Move on, goddamn it. That ain't her. Goddamn, I swear to God, I get a hundred yards away from that bitch, man. That ain't her, man. I, I you got to keep that condom on so you won't feel that feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you like, just, it's all don't, type of shit out here. Rona AIDS. Rona AIDS? Rona AIDS, Rona nigga. AIDS. It's Rona AIDS so you out here. out AIDS. Ugh, nah, the AIDS coming out. That's how scared of pussy they got you, nigga. It's the. The they got the y'all so scared of pussy that you think you just going to go out there and just get AIDS on the first try. Mm-mm. That's misinformation. Yeah, you the you got to get HIV no, no. first. You the most <laughs> for the baby. You got to get HIV first. Not the condom for the baby. You can get AIDS and get your dick sucked. You think, you shit, think right? a baby. Ain't, ain't that right? No, I don't know, nigga. I don't know, neither. I'm asking you. Ain't going to turn to me or what? Ain't you. that right? I'm asking nigga with the baby models that they don't want. I have no idea if you get AIDS and get your dick sucked. Nigga, that's a. damn condom ain't going to stop you from getting nobody pregnant. It a delay. My partner said, last week, Mike, let me put your rubber on. She ain't trying to have no baby. I said, that's all you thought about? That's <laughs> it? That's it? Nigga, you putting that into the universe, Los? What? That the condom ain't gonna work? Nigga, if you fucking wearing a rubber and you bust a nut and the, and the shit fill up the rubber and you try to pull out, nigga, it's nut everywhere. Don't let that go over mm. your head. All right, I'm, too much. probably when I'm 30, then my nut will get a little stronger or something. Cause my, right. you my nuts, you my right. shit ain't you fresh. Right. Them motherfuckers ain't sticking I'm that hard. My nut. I be like, bitch, what, a couple of ounces? Cause you might go ahead and bust the rope. You know what I I'm saying? My nut can get on the leg, hey, I'm cool. You know what I'm talking See, about? Out the outside of the pussy, I'm cool. See, I forgot. You know I got a nut meter. Y'all nut yeah. going through the bitch my, and all that Go off, that shit be like, how much you want to give? I be like, just give her a little bit in case. You know what I'm saying? See, this nigga got a filter. I got a nut meter. Got a nut filter. I, 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 I know this is grown man nothing. And, and niggas, niggas from the South be having them kids though. I don't know what the fuck y'all got in y'all body because y'all get kids easier than niggas in no, Cali. That's racist. No, that ain't. That pretty much is. No, it ain't. I agree. That's I agree. Y'all that think so? That was racist. Yeah, that Hell was no. And I, don't, and I disagree too because niggas in Cali got a bunch of motherfucking bro, kids. Y'all, niggas, y'all I don't know bro, what you talking about. A lot of kids in California is six. No, nah, A lot of kids in the South is 12. Nah, nigga. I would read this, but. The CDC don't have no credibility no more, so it don't even matter. What well, did it? I want to see. It, it said that HIV contraction from heads is extremely low, but I see no. a white boy pulled that up, huh? No, no. I see, was, yep. <laughs> Tell him. Y'all like the he little mixed don't bitches throwing, and shit. Right. Y'all don't need to know what the fuck they got. Don't be information out, nigga. He is Asian. Oh, he Asian. His people had it. Them the same shit. 
Uh-uh, he, his people had it rough. He uh-huh. from Cambodia. He from Cambodia. Oh, Cambodia? Yeah, them yeah. the niggas Ooh, of Asia. Shit. Yeah, y'all gang. Negro Asians. I got a Cambodian yeah, nah, shit. You got a Cambodian yeah. ex? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, you are the renaissance man of the streets, my really? nigga. This nigga said you got a Cambodian. Where you get a Cambodian chick at? Uh, Probably Cambodia fucking with this nigga. No, nah, I ain't even go. I ain't go. We made it in Texas somewhere. For real? It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. A Cambodian in Texas? Nah, she was in Texas. Don't bring her up because Lou will follow and make her laugh. I ain't gonna bring. I ain't gonna bring. Oh. Yeah, she oh, doing. You she brought up. She kept. Look, she carrying on. But you know, since we were shouting out Cambodian, shout out my ex. Oh. I got a question, nigga. Where is Yucatan? Uh, <laughs> it's the Yucatan Peninsula. It's over toward Russia. Mm-hmm. Yugoslavia. I didn't know where the fuck that was at. Oh, I man, that's where you got some you got some shit from Yucatan, and I just always was wondering where that was at. And had but this been. is what I this is what I did. We everybody had a chop in the hood, fuck around, and just read it. Uh-huh. Right? I didn't want to say Yucatan, and then it just I remembered it. You feel me? And plus, I had put in a couple of raps before. One thing that always made me a fan was you was always an international shopper. Yeah, the blocks came from Italy. Yeah. But the gloss came from Sicily. Yes. Oh, yes. So how do you, man, like what, what, I know you say you like to play with the words and you mm. real big on the words, but like your style, how did you, when you first started, did you always rap the way you rap or did you develop into that style? Yeah, so if we throw on some old drum, the, the you ain't gonna be on there rapping no the booty shaking music and that. Nah. <laughs> not the old, old, old. Not saying there's something wrong with that place. I know, nah. it, I know it to be hard. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, like I ain't take to that kind of music. Like you know what I mean. When I decided to make music, I, I was listening to Nas and you know what I mean, Biggie, Pop. You know what I mean. Uh, um, Lyrics. Yeah, Cameron. That nigga like so cold Mace. and don't get enough credit, bro. Yeah, man, Cameron. Cameron is the only nigga that I would ever allow to rap the same word four fucking times. That nigga give you two bars. Cameron same makes word. Like, oh, I had my doggy doggy like. told my doggy dog me off me. Like what? <laughs> Listen, man, Cameron like Cameron gave me a lot of game, bro. Nigga, he did. Very influential to me. He and if you listen to what he's saying, the nigga got life stories. Oh yeah. That nigga said budget seven fifty, nickel bag, white owl, and hope that chicken sandwich lasts us through the night, child. Yeah. Oh, nigga Some went good nigga All shit right, right child. There. Yeah. Don't play with him. So you you always rap that way, or you you know what I'm saying? You, always. You, always. Always can't. You can't play like, in the game like with that before, style. Like, I would say like before Nas did one mic. I did like a song called One, Two, Three. Like, what he did with one mic, I had just did in the first verse. Oh. I did all the ones, you feel me? The second verse, I did all the twos. And I was just rapping like, you feel me? I flexed all around it. You know, then the third verse, I did all threes. But, you know, when I heard one mic, I was like, he kind of slow. <laughs> like, my introduction to Young Joe, I moved to Atlanta 2005. Right. And that summer, that was the summer that the PSC uh, joint came out. Mm-hmm. The uh, what is it? P.S. Nah, the the P.S. album. Twenty five to life. Twenty five to life. That and then I remember, yeah, you was on that bitch, and then you popped in on like the last three or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like probably like I four. Had just, I had just got there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, and then I think you went went to jail or some shit after that. I don't mm-hmm. know exactly the time. It but it's like we got. I became a fan, and I was like, the nigga was gone for a minute, and he popped back up with the dress and shit cut off. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, nigga, I it was shoulder lane for me. When I first heard That's it, how I found out. when I first heard it, I was like, "Nigga, what?" The f-? And it comes straight on. Let me see you. And I'm like, yeah. "Nigga, who the fuck is this?" And then when you start rapping, it was something like you never heard before. You know what I'm saying? Like the style, and I'm I'm a big style person, like you know, because a lot of niggas end up sounding the same, especially when something become popular. Mm-hmm. And at that time, you know, it was Jeezy, and you know, what I mean, it's that slow, you know, saying the words just real slow, and and you know, just melodic beats. But when you came in, it was flow, heavy flow, and I was like, this nigga can rap his ass off. I wrote, I wrote that shit in the nine. I was sitting in the nine over there with like uh, with Savage and Rudy, uh, Rudy them. Um, yeah, you know, uh-huh. I was sitting in the nine back in um, like oh five. Wrote that shit sitting over Cookie House high one night. You know what I mean? And, and I really did feel like it, the outfit that I had on that if everybody was to stop and Bro, I'm cleaning mm, it. Bitch. You feel me? I, I would have owned that shit. You feel me? So when I thought about it, I was like, let me just write this shit down. And did you think it was going to be a big hit like that? When you Like, did you know it was going to be that big? Yeah. I mean, well, like, I, how enthused I was writing it, I was like, they probably owe me back for that. You know what I mean? 
the, all the excitement I felt right then and the energy I felt in my body, I was like, y'all owe me that back. So when I got the reaction that I got, I was like, y'all owe me that. And you oh. delivered that when you went in the studio. That's the thing, like, you know what I mean? Get in the studio, you can write some shit and it be cold on paper, but mm-hmm. the delivery. The delivery is, is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you just, yo, I'm clean in this bitch. But I practice, now I'm finna pr- shoulder lean yeah, in this I bitch. I practiced that shit so many times at this spot. By the time I got there, it was like, it was like, you know, when you find your niche, you know what I mean? It, and that's how you rock. And that's how it look like. You can't do nothing about that. I feel the same way. Because I told the bitch that one time, I told the bitch. I was like, shit, you want me. <laughs> and that's exactly what I need. And I ain't say shit else. And I just confused her. Yeah. That's kind of the same. You just direction. confused me with that. That reminded when you were saying that, it reminded me of that time. Mm. I just left a bitch baffled. Baffled. Do you see what I'm saying? That's exactly the point I was trying to get to. That mm. shit was baffling. Now you say when you when Lo said the the 25 to life, you had just got there. How you link up with Tip? Like how y'all? Oh uh, well, me and Tip have been friends since we was like children. You know what I mean? Like young cats. We he wasn't a rapper. I wasn't a rapper. You know what I mean? Um, we were from the West Side together. You know, you know. It, by, by the time we we got our voucher, our little Section Eight voucher to move out to Riverdale and you know kick it over there. Um, I um, tipped them was living over there before I was. You know what I mean? By the time I got there, me and him just connected, and then like you know I'm from Bankhead, I'm from Bankhead too. You feel me? So we'll travel back over there. You know. Get my mom car, get a rent a J car, or something, you know, travel back to the west side, start hanging. <laughs> the good you old days. Man. Well, you can rent a car. When crackheads was so stable, they had cars and Dope shit. Dolphin rentals, nigga. Yeah, That's how I, I learned how to drive on a dolphin rental. Yeah, get your J car, ride around, couple of sacks, you know what I mean? Couple of sacks, get your uh, car for a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> always. And I always, the business, though, you from the west side of mm-hmm. Atlanta. That's a rich history, but like, I be wondering, like, who is the nigga that? If that didn't come out the hood, that was nice that you remember, like for whatever reason, nigga, ain't ain't go. But do you like have any stories about niggas that, that was question. crazy? Yeah, that street was legends, question. them legends sure. that was like the shit in the hood. But we ain't ne- we ain't never heard of them. But that side of town know this nigga for, you know what I mean? Rapping, man. Um, uh, my cousin Scoon, you know what I mean? Screed from Bankhead, he was a hard one like that. You know what I mean? That that. I was like, you know, he inspired me to rap, you know what I mean? So when he was telling me to um to do my thing or whatever, he was like, hey, look, well, you need to start, because I used to just spit like pop bars. You feel what I'm saying? I spit a pop bar, and they'll be like, man, that's you? I'd be like, nah. They were like, well, you need to start rapping, man, my cousin. So I started rapping, and then I came back with what I had wrote, and then when I spit it, he was like, man, you sound like Pac. <laughs> you know, he's trying to, uh, he was like, just go back. He was like, it's, it just be you. So I was like, all right, cool. So from the South, you know what I mean? I don't really listen to booty shaking music like that. You know what I mean? It's cool, but I ain't, that ain't my flavor. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit more player, so. Did they go against that coming out of the South? Like, you feel me? Like, if you ain't shaking it, if you ain't talking about, you know, this is twerking shit, all the shit, you know they had sleep on <laughs> the music. I mean, well, I mean, well, the way I was rapping, it, it kind of like, was like, too much. You know what I mean? I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, people liked it. People like Carlos, and you appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I mean. And then, but it be other people that want to just hear. Yeah. You feel me? What's popping? But shout really spin. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, sleeping on me like it'll be. It's hard to teach Americans Japanese. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I'm spin Japanese, you ain't really. You feel me? Unless you're just one of these kind of people. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That can read. That can read dialect, and you know what I mean. Like you got to be one of these, one of them kind of people that can like listen to a Kendrick Lamar. Mm-hmm. And, and, and appreciate a J. Cole, you feel me what I'm saying? And also vibe to an NBA young boy, you feel what I'm saying? You gotta be all kind of flavors, you feel what I'm saying? So when you preaching, when you preaching something that don't sound like English to a person, they'll sleep on that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you feel right. me? Shout to you, you feel what I'm saying? So if you sleep on me, I'll just tuck you in. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a cold, cold right one, there. I'm a swagger jacket on that yeah. one. <laughs> Damn, you should have just stole it first. I don't like doing that. <laughs> but now, nah, nigga, know you <laughs> just gonna steal shit. <laughs> but now, nah, at least I told a nigga like. Nah, what? you could have asked if you was gonna steal it. You was like, man, can I, can I live? By oh yeah, yeah. 
I did just to tell them. Y'all know you gonna use got I'm gonna use some shit. You know I'm gonna use You just trying to get some pussy. See, that's what I was getting at earlier. You don't have no use for that. Just can't wait to just throw that in there when you're asking for some pussy. I see it in your eyes. You at that point in your life where pussy is running you on the low. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, because you know how you like, that was my you know how you can look at a nigga and tell like, nah. like in the movie when the nigga start changing, you been sneaking and gigging. You really a I be posing to get chosen. Yeah, you yeah. Can, nah. Hey, you see what it's doing to this nigga? Sneaking, 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 sneaking. Sneaking, sneaking and gigging. I'm the young OG. Yeah, but I did that when I was in my teens. That pussy, I, I see what it's doing in your life. I see it. I'm looking at your face. It's not your fault. <laughs> not your fault. You had, I'm just saying, you had the crossroads. Come Luke. this way. I'm, I'm past the crossroads. It's like, nigga, it's, you're looking at a nigga who used to be there. I've been there before. Been there before. I see it in it's your not face. Your fault. My no, freakness man. is not my weakness. You know what I'm talking about? I heard your that. freakness is not that your that weakness. Yeah, my freakness is not light, my weakness. Niggas, come I on, know man. that pussy whooping him. Yeah. Yeah. got nothing but quotes to do. yeah. Shit, if you give it to me, you must didn't want it. You understand that? You understand that? Shit. If shit. I take it, I break it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, oh, hey, oh, I don't need pussy. Cause look, if she'll sit on it, I can't spit on it. You yeah, understand yeah, that? God damn it. Man, turn the music off. This is serious business. Hey, fellas. Grown men. You remember when you was 20, you could fuck all night? Yeah. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. A lot of men can't fuck all night no more. If you want to go back to the days where you can fuck all night, I know the people at BlueChew.com and they have given me a promo code so me and my partners can goddamn go get the Blue Chew pills and fuck these women all night long because that's what they want these days. Really? Go to BlueChew.com and use the code 85 South Show and get you a discount on your chewable BlueChew.com pills because they good and they get make your meat get hard. Harder. <laughs> Not saying that nobody's lacking in that department. But I'm saying, if you want to hit her with the rock, hit her with the motherfucking rock. Hey. Go to BlueChew.com. Hey. Use the promo code 85 South. Now, I'm not saying that this is FDA approved or nothing, but you experiment with shit all the time. Why wouldn't you want to experiment with BlueChew.com? If you out of luck and you having problems getting it up, uh, here's what you need to do. Blue Chew. Blue. Chew.com, go get you some, said BlueChew.com, and go get you some, you can make love to your lady, come on y'all, for a long, long time, and hit her with that wood, I swear to God I ain't lying, it's a sexual stimulant, it make your meat get hard, it's a sexual stimulant, it making me get hard. I'm trapped in the studio and I don't know how I'm gonna get something to eat. You know what I do? I pick up the phone and open the DoorDash app. Yeah, they bring you everything, man. DoorDash has something for every lifestyle. On the go with no time to waste, order pickup and pass the line. Delivery is more than just pizza in 2020. With a selection of your favorite flavors from across the globe, you can order world cuisine from the comfort of your living room with DoorDash. So make sure you download the app and use promo code 85 South so you can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more. That's promo code 85 South. You've got big plans for 2020, but when will you find time to do it all? Order delivery with DoorDash and take back time in your day. We use it. We want you to use it. That's why we're giving you the promo code. And for the people who don't know what a promo code is, it's kind of like a coupon before the internet. So if you go in there and they say enter the promo code, always enter 85 South so you can get the best deal possible. With door-to-door -door delivery in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can order from your local go-to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, and the Cheesecake Factory. Get the app. Go to the app store and get the app. You don't have it yet? Why we still talk? I got food on the way. What were you saying, bro? Go to commercial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bitch take this shit like a fish take the water. <laughs> blue, blue. <laughs> he gonna steal that too. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next thing you go, we gonna look on Instagram. This nigga, blue, 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 blue. blue, blue. I make blue, a bitch blue, blue. blue. <laughs> God, nigga, stupid. Yeah. Your mama's un only daughter fucked the man a dip of head underwater. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Hey, listen, man, if you were Dr. Dre, 
Right. Ooh, would you shit. let your wife tell, like, would you have given her position of the name Dr. Drake Mm-mm. to where she would be able to flex to the public? Like, I only I'm on Dr. the one Drake condition. Now. If she learned how to make beats. <laughs> I'm not even going with that. Because even if she learned, she, if you Dr. Drake, you, you got to learn how to make five beats. You could have shook You mean tell me she been with that man for 20 years or whatever and don't know how to make beats? <laughs> that you is fucked up. The and then you, talking about you own the chronic album? That's what happened when you That's made. what she said? What? Man, listen, I ain't... That's, that's a hard... First of all, that's a horrible question to ask Bro. me because... I don't believe in marriage and none of that goof ass shit. That's goofy to me. No disrespect to those who believe in it, but that shit dumb. Why? And they, why, chico? Why? You killing the youth? Yeah, come oh, on. Oh, that nigga ain't paying attention. He got bloop bloop in his <laughs> mind. Bloop, he ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, just me personally, I just don't. You know, what I mean, I don't believe in, in in subscribing to rules that was written by a motherfucker you never met before. People going to relationships looking to uh, spy to get to a goal that was for everybody else and you ain't did no research about who you really are to find out if this apply to you. And yeah, most of the time, you, and this, let me ask you this, most marriages end in divorce, right? Mm-hmm. 70% of marriages end in divorce. So if I came to you with a business deal and I say, man, look, we got a 70% chance this shit ain't gonna work. What would you say? I would say no. Exactly. So but, most people ain't doing that research. So guess how I look at it. You you want to take this journey with this lady, right? Like, and um, you just ask God, give you, you know, cover it. You know, it's like a covenant with you and God and this woman. Like, you can't be the full man that you want to be in life without this woman and this christening. You feel me? I understand that. That's how I look at it. I look at it like never underestimate how quick <clears throat> your soul may to turn into your roommate. Because you don't really know who a person is. I think, I think you're going into the And situation. that will be the name of the book that will be coming <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your she soul be man turn into your roommate. roommate. Yeah, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the re- dopest shit ever. I'm going to do numbers. It's, this that is, shit going to do gonna, numbers, my boy. It's going to trump what Steve no. did. Oh, yeah, that's for real. What Steve did, right? For real. What, as much as I don't agree, that shit hot. Yeah, I mean, it's the so, movie. So drove. We got to get Will Packer to write the movie. Oh, yeah, we in there. He better let us be in it, though. Don't, give, Ke- the movie. don't give Kevin Hart our role, nigga. Oh, yeah, y'all niggas going to be, y'all going to be out there. I signed my role to Kevin Hart. You can have this shit, bro. You can buy it. You can have my little piece. You can have my piece, too. <laughs> I know, I'm with Drew. I'm with Drew. So, Drew, you want to get married? Yeah, I aspire to get married. But I'm you said you want to get married. married. Somebody? At that point in time, I didn't want to marry my baby mama. That, that's what I was getting to. I was saying, I think Dr. Drake married his baby mama. Now that's facts though, Dro. I mean, so, I mean, it, it, it was, it, listen, at that point in time, I ain't really give a damn about no bitch, period. It, I was loving it. You feel me? I had all the hoes in the world. I was mad at my baby mama. She ain't let me see my child. And it was just like, fuck the bitch. I, I just don't want to see her. But how did you get to the point where you want to be married? Like, because um, this is my thing. This is what I don't worth, understand. I see the worth of one woman that want to make me be married. I can understand and that. I, see, I respect and that. That was my mom. But where does, this is the part I don't get, like, in marriages that I see, because I ain't never been married, so I can't say what it's like from me experience. Either. But most motherfuckers ain't keeping it 100. Like, you will stand before God and the preacher and, and listen to Brian McKnight songs and and say, till death do us part through sickness and so in health. So you know the and, process. The process is, I'm very familiar with the process. shit is dope as hell, right? So you just want to get married. See, Dro want to get married so he can wear the suits and shit. No. <laughs> Dro just want to get married so he can be the first nigga to wear a suit that's never been worn before in a church. That's what it is. This nigga tripping. This nigga tripping. I do want to be fresh. I do want to do that. But I, I, I want to actually go through the process of actually being in love. See, now that's how you know a nigga that really had hoes. When he can say, hey, I'm ready for love. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, so thirsty. Fuck all Oakland that. Oakland is the spirit. I, love is an emotion. Everything else, is, you, if you get married to somebody, in my opinion, because you love them, you is bound to fail. Who hurt you? Nobody. Who hurt you? Nobody. Who that's the you? fucked up part, see? Who hurt you, you sound like. Who hurt you? Oh, who hurt you? I like that. Who hurt you? Nobody. Who hurt you? Nobody. You're lying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Who hurt you? No, I'm not. No, it's not. No, but seriously, I just got a different perspective because. What is your perspective on marriage, Chico? My is it don't work. Hold on, wait a minute, Chico Beans. No, no, Chico. Successful marriage. Yes, I've been around a successful marriage. I have been around one, one successful marriage. 
one successful merge I've seen. And that didn't inspire you? And they, yes, it did. Was but it Black they, Love? But yes, it is. Time out. Nigga, it did. is. It they is. It was shit. Black Love, and it, it definitely was Black Love, shit, and dude. I respect it. But the difference between their merge and any other merge that I've ever seen is they fucked other people. Hey, you oh, know one shit. thing that now, made and now, the you, dopest shit I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Now, mind you, now this is the thing. This is the thing. He, that, go, he go got people divorce him about it. Right. Because that's what caused the most marriages to, to break up is finances and fucking. But if that's you, volume two of the book. Finances and fucking. Finances and fucking. That is a good hey, book. Hey, man, put me hey, in the put I used here. to be a comedian. Finances and fucking. But I'm going to do that half time and I'm a, the other half of be Chico Beans Asian. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, but but what I'm saying, though, Joe, is this: like, okay. if you get married and you don't follow the standard structure of what it's supposed to be, then it's not validated under the, you know, the, what it's validated. It, 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 by. it takes the it takes the rings it takes and the, it takes the paper. All that, all that is not necessary. If, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You're to right. me, it's a business arrangement. So love doesn't have to be validated oh, by the way that it no, it is. No, it's nah, not. I have a different. Not a bit. You, you okay. Okay. So check opinion. this out. This the shit that made me uncomfortable. Cause niggas all men always say, "Hey man, happy wife, happy, happy life." life. Yeah. Goddamn life. What the? Where is our slogan? We don't. Ain't nobody got nothing for the husbands. Like happy husband or a bitch don't get nothing. Like we don't got no. <laughs> we don't got nothing. I'm and ladies and gentlemen, that. I also am Carlos it? Miller's agent. Yeah, one more time. And we will be having a uh, not a book, but we be having a tell-all situation where you can come. What's the slogan for me? What is it? Suck the dick, lick the click. See, you still gotta do yeah, something. Yeah. That's the point. I mean, no, look, if you suck the dick, I'll lick the click. If you suck the dick, I'll lick the click. You can tell by the way niggas the that's dick, married I'll that dress that something is wrong with that shit. Explain. Have you ever seen a married nigga just on a Saturday? Nigga might have on some goofy shit like a seven year old boy, some cowboy boots, some khaki shorts, and a goddamn basketball jersey. Yeah, that nigga just trying to get out of the house. That nigga on acid in the eye and the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And so he got Uncle that outfit. Who? What about Uncle Obama? Man, listen, I, I, you don't know. This is What's thing. You Obama? Nothing. Man, that's the I'm coolest nigga in the what world. What the fuck like have y'all Michelle done to Obama? Michelle got a lot to do with his success. I, I, I agree. And I, and exactly. I, I agree. That. And I agree that you can never, I mean, I ain't going to say never, but you always are going to be elevated by having a woman that's for you in your corner. I'm not against none of that, but I'm talking about the structure of marriage. You get married in front of a judge, I mean, in front of a pastor, but you got to get divorced in front of a judge. Wait, 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 wait. I think you think you get, I get married in front of my mama, my son, my daughter, my family, my friends. That's very true. Chico coming. Low style. A wedding could be like a baby shower. I'm coming. It could be a baby shower vibe, but y'all getting married. You think, I ain't, real man. you think I ain't coming in y'all drunk way? You tripping? Listen, you just said you just you just, just, you, just, you just you just chopped all that out and said nigga get married in front of the judge and get divorced in front of the guy. No, no, you do. That's true. I mean, but the thing the thing is, it's not fucked up. But what I'm saying is, it don't got nothing to do with hurt. I'm talking about truth. If you can be honest with a person. If you can, if you can tell God you're gonna do something and can't tell the person you marrying that you're gonna do it, that's what wasting that's just, your time. You know what? Well, that's the, that's what I go by. If you can't commit yourself to this woman right here, how the hell are you gonna commit yourself? To right. God? You can see this woman. You can't even see him. Oh, mamas. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? I'm, these people down here, I, I so said these people agree. on earth. So yeah. like, I, it's a lot of stuff we go by the same. So I'm kind of confused. Well, so, well, obviously you have a different perspective. Like, so let me let me ask you this. If you get married, would you ever lie to your wife? Yes. <laughs> me too. Hell yes. Yeah. About not uh, not twice on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to lie. But why wait, would I do something where I can't be a hundred about what not, I got? Bro, you don't, lie, bro, you don't, like, bro, listen, you bro, you don't keep it a hundred with yourself. How the hell are you gonna keep it a hundred with somebody else? We do lie to each other. Well, you, I done no, lied no, no, to no. myself so many times. Bro. No, 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 Dro. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talk, I'm not talking about that shit. I'm not talking about, baby, do you look good in this dress? I'm talking about shit that's gonna cause y'all not to be together no more. That's gonna break that union. <laughs> not the sh- bullshit. You know, I'm talking about shit the real shit. Most. You say what? Small shit matters the most. I agree. Hey man, in nah, any relationship, you gotta lie a little bit. You yeah. Of course, yeah. but I'm not talking about no, that. This type this of lie. At what, what point? Like, at what point in your career did you figure you were Jesus? Like, what the never, fuck? No, this nigga is a walking god. He never lied to his wife. He's lie. Jesus himself. Wife. I mean, I mean, what, I mean what, like, if I was to get one, I'm, t- I'm not talking about regular lies. I'm talking about the lies that make a motherfucker go to the courthouse and say, "Fuck this motherfucker," Mm-mm. because you're not. Guess what? Let me tell you something. It's a, it's a hundred of the little bitty ones that's got you in court. The big ones, cool. 
That is a fact. It's every a hundred time, little, it's a every hundred, time it's a I thought little a little was about to boy. leave me, you kept saying, uh, "Babe, where you at? I'm up the street, nigga. You down, Tasha?" Like every out. time she was supposed to stay, she, she left. fucking left. It ain't never what you think it is. Every time I thought that, like she for sure about to leave. That's what she wanted to be the good person. Be like, I ain't going nowhere. Fuck. But then when the bullshit happened, that's when you. So how do she you? Out of there. That's how like do you, you navigate that? If she can take the bullshit, and y'all still work through it. It's like, hey, my well, but check, I, well, let me ask you oh, that question. Wait, wait, wait. Let's you be, be fair. fair. Guess what? But Let's be listen, fair. But guess what? So guess what? So after you see how hard she worked and how she put the game in, you're like, okay, she deserve it. Then you go to God. Then you say, bless this. I agree, but let's be fair. Let me, go this, ahead, this the fucked up part about it, though. See, you can be with a woman that is wife material. She is a great woman. But that might not be your, your wife. wife. Exactly. I hey, agree. Drew, I want to ask you this. Like you just said, you know what I mean? You you keep it once, hundred as best you can, and then ask God to bless it. So you said that you are going to definitely lie to your wife. So you are going to be okay with your wife lying to you? Yes, I am. Okay, that makes sense. Because you guess what? Oh, let me tell you something. See, ah, Nana, let it go. No, no. Listen, okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. Listen, bro. I went, I went preparing no meal that I wouldn't eat. Correct. You feel what I'm saying? I agree. I don't want you to cook me shit that you, you ain't, ain't finna going goddamn eat. eat. You feel hey. what I'm saying? So if, if I tell you I shoot a lot two to my old lady, I don't ex- I automatically don't expect her to not shoot him back. You feel me? That's that's like yeah. Listen, that's like there are thing. some lies that can make yeah. me. Feel a better me. If person. I go in, if I go in here and kick the goddamn pimp shit to to shout it and I and I you know what I'm saying try to steal that hoe, I expect shout to try to steal my hoe too. And I respect you. And I respect you. Know, get what? Cause look, we get, work together. Exactly, we popping shit. You popping it? I'm popping it. So shit, man, you know so me. Fish grease, fish grease, get on me. Fish grease, get on. Popping, popping, popping. You know what I'm talking about? I got game. You got game. Let's take our game. You know what I'm saying? Get our own way. Yeah. But see, that's what I was telling you. Some lies. You sound like some pimps. Yeah, some lies. Bitch, look. Bitch, yeah. like, look, bitch, if you want to fuck my pimp, come marry me at 3 we o'clock all, that's the in thing. front of God. We all four different you know kind of crazy. Yeah. That's how fucking crazy women make men. We all think we know some shit and we Pussy all. This is so wrong. good, you got a pimp trying to get married. Look, ho, <laughs> bring your ass down here. 7 o'clock, nah. pimp suit out. All the hoes gonna be around. I'll marry you. I love you for life. Oh my God. Look, look, bitch, we're getting married at 10. You're working at 11. He just switched. He just switched. You got down there, ho. You don't even need no ring. Hey, you know what? I don't never plan on getting married, but if I ever do, I'm doing it like bro. Look, bitch. Hey, all that bullshit I was talking about earlier, fuck all that, bitch. Hey, bang. But what it do? Then we get married today. See, <laughs> now be careful what you ask for. You talking about you ain't gonna lie to your woman. You fuck around and get with a woman and tell you, your ass the truth all the time. You ain't gonna be able to deal with that shit. That's, that's, that's why I said so I need a house. motherfucker that's look, gonna lie to me. Look, some bitch walking in the house. Bitch walking in the house. Tell you the truth all the time. Where you been, baby? Shit, sucking your partner dick. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna know that. Am I crazy for yes. wanting to know that? Yeah. I wanna know she that. Know, that I don't don't fucking say. No, no, no. I don't wanna oh, find no, that out from nobody but you. If I don't wanna find out through the street. Bitch. She goes, no, yes. Y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all crazy. Let me crazy. tell you something as yeah. your partner. I want you to go. You saying you want to know that? That is the type of shit that would kill you. No, I won't. You remember that part? I will eat, on, I will eat I Remember that part on Iron Man when they pulled that shit out his chest? As no, a nigga, that hurt. shit would do I'm that. different, man. I was, I, I'm different. If you don't wake up in the morning and wash your pussy, it don't belong to you. It's not yours. It's deeper than the pussy. It's that, but I'm talking about, I, 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 of course, it's a metaphor, nigga. But what I'm saying is, you not in control of what that woman is going to do. It ain't about the control. You're never going to be in control you of it. So I'm not, I'm not. You can't, I'm not, no, you can't only, be in control. Only way you're going to be in control. You got to marry me. The only, the, the, I am going to be oh, in shit. control. You this, really trying to get in? No, but that's what I'm saying. You not in control. So if I got somebody that I believe in and trust enough to share my life with, if that's what you outside doing, mm-hmm. let me don't let me to be the motherfucker that don't know. Exactly. I don't want to come in the house and find out you've been outside sucking dick from the nigga who dick you suck. Like, right. hey boy, that's your bitch. Oh no, you tell me. I feel like listen. we talking about two different women. At all, at all costs, please prevent me from knowing that you suck the dick. Wait a minute, just let that bitch breathe for a minute because it feel like everybody's feathers is ruffled. Oh, you see, yeah. it's a lot of tension in the room. Oh, we that's what we need. We ain't even talking about some shit that really- My bad is just walked in. That nigga sit down back, like shit. I wonder my bitch suck the dick so right well, bro. Man, I wish that, bitch would I can see it in his face. He got the car, he's on. He like, man, I, man, man, let me go outside and make a phone call. Hello? 
This conversation is too intense. The chapter turned into the red table. Yeah, this shit that turned too intense. Every nigga in here, like, man. That's what we need. These conversations are necessary, though. She gonna hit this right now. I'm trusting these hoes. I'm like, yeah, shit. I'm feeling both of everybody. But I don't got time. Pay, pay. I'm young though. I ain't been That's traumatized. Got time, though. You got time. And I don't want to be traumatized. I don't. I don't. That perspective too. That right I got time. Shit. What difference but, but do it go, make? What? Act like a young nigga and an old nigga. Like I am a young yeah, old nigga. Young OG. I'm a young, young old OG, nigga. My perspective is. His perspective kind of like. Fuck the bitch, but I fuck with the bitch. No, I, nah, that ain't the case. I love women. I oh, love the, I love the bitch. But I'm just not gonna let I'm, you I'm believe. Like, fuck the bitch. Fuck the bitch. <laughs> I'm just not gonna let you believe that because we decided to do something and now we are both in control of each other's actions. It don't work that way. So you we are making so an agreement. Means, Chico, yes, sir. Will you ever get married? I know. I don't ever have any desire to ever do that. People are logging off right now. Women be marrying dudes like Chico, and the nigga don't even want to be married. Hell, Hell dog. That shit don't make no sense to me. Why would I do that? And people people always ask me that, like, damn, you want to be fucking around and doing this your whole life? You You want to end up being an old man? You want to be an old man that's by yourself? First of all, any decision I make, I'm willing to face whatever consequence come with it. But for me... If I end up an old nigga with a dog, that's just my destiny. But I'm not going to put myself in no position. You know, the dog is a bitch too, and a female one. That's oh. a good point. Oh. You gonna end up with the bitch, bro? Oh. That was cold. Was that was cold. Was that was cold. cold. That was cold. That was cold. That was cold. That was cold. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, look, I'm a swagger jacket for that one. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And you can't, you can't say shit because you already got drove for one. So you, you owe that one. You that one. But nah, I'm just saying, I don't have nothing to mind you. I'm not shitting on marriage for anybody else. If it's what you want to do, salute to you. Just make sure you do it right. I'm just not with that shit. What inspiring do you have to say to a person that's in a marriage? Inspiring. Inspiring. Some good shit. Some good <laughs> shit. Some good I got shit. you. I, it's a bunch of good shit that I can tell people in the marriage. You know why y'all get divorced so much? Because you don't have to get divorced the same way you got married. If you had to get divorced the same way you got married, it'd make a whole lot of that shit that you mad about a whole lot different. If I got to come sit in the courtroom and watch you, yes, it is. Because if I get to come sit in the courtroom and watch you tell all the reasons why you don't like this motherfucker no more, like I got to see you tell them all the reasons why you like them, then that'll make you realize that most of the bullshit <coughs> that you're going through ain't working. So understand, you have to figure out how to love the person you with regardless. And in the days you that you- this shit? No. Oh. In the days that you wake up and don't love a motherfucker, those are the days where your marriage is tested. So yeah. figure that out. Yeah, this Chico Bean. Everything yeah, Chico that, Bean, man. Everything hey, he said. That's a real I, nigga. I, I, I totally don't stand agree, on but what he's like saying. Fucking agree. This no, he he really fucking. lived like this, and, yeah. and it's it's various aspects. I like a complicated life. nigga. Yes. Don't give me no simple nigga. Exactly. Nah, I never. I'm on the fence. Nigga, this nigga. That's why hey, I just have me like shit. Don't tell me what I want to hear. Cause I'm fit to fit. I ain't hurt. You fit to fit. I'm fit to fit. But see, this the thing about Los. This the thing about Los that I tell you. Los is one of the most. I'm talking about unique niggas ever. You, I done been around, I don't really, have no game. I don't have no game. Like, you know how nigga like, bro, you look like type of nigga walk up, say some of the coldest shit yeah, ever. That you. ain't me, I ain't that nigga. I ain't okay. never been that nigga. Okay. Lou, you that nigga, I done seen you do it. Okay. Los, I done you. seen this nigga say some shit that mind blowing. We walking through the hotel one day, right? Okay. Walking through the hotel after the show. Low see a chick, he walked up to her and said some of the coldest shit I ever heard. He was like, hey, I know I'm not your type, but I can change. Ooh. I was like, God <laughs> damn. But in the same hey, token. Hey, listen though. But it, listen you, though. Did you it, smoke one early? Yeah, probably, probably more than one. But the thing is, but when we had conversation, this nigga perspective on shit, like I done learned that we learned a lot from each other, but the perspective that I have, he done gave me perspective on the way I feel while still having a different perspective than I have. So that's, that's what I just took from you. you know See, that's mean? the thing, yo. It's like, I done did the shit the right way. I done did the shit the wrong way. I done did the shit her way. I done did it my way. It's like, I done did the shit every way that, that like you said, that motherfuckers say, you know, this is it. You know, this shit don't work. Y'all know it ain't all about me. And then you be like, well, fuck. If I'm in the wrong this time, and I know I'm wrong, because as a nigga, that's part of being a grown ass man is knowing where you fucked up at. But you could be right with the wrong person. But see, you could be wrong with the right motherfucker. Yeah, 
That's the thing about it. You it ain't you no. You say you did it her way, your way. I did it. I hit bitches. I did on it the one way, the one way, in Conway, in Conway. man, Conway, in Conway court, right? Yeah, hit bitches on the one way in hey. Conway. Exactly. Hey, and she goes on the front day. You can start. Um, you start this motherfucking single, you can end the single. You'll be all right. I mean, but that's the thing, oh, man. That's I, don't do that. It's not, not depressing. To... It's not depressing. If, if I end up, it, like, this is the thing that I think people. If you end people, up old with a dog, you I, need to I, hate hey, yourself. Listen, this is the thing. I, I disagree because the difference between most relationships that I watch is a from a male perspective, I can't speak yeah, from a woman's perspective. Yeah, that's all we giving right now. It's male perspective. It's probably, it's probably a million, billion women out there be like, that's right. I'm right. So married. Just, I want to get that dog, and I come over there and kick right. the with you and go home. That's, nigga, that, don't ever think that that's what that, they I want to I thought he was with the dog because the wife probably died. Nah, he never <laughs> had the wife. I never he had never the wife, had nigga. The wife. But what he I, settled for the dog. The girlfriend died. No. But what I'm saying is this, like, I just feel like. I don't know. If you. I heard Dion Sanders say this, man. Salute to the OG Dion, man, and salute to what you did at Jackson uh, State for HBCUs right, too, man. Dion. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, but uh, prime time. Prime, prime, prime time said you gotta you gotta finish how you start. So however you start, however you got her or whatever you did getting her, you gotta always do those things. And you gotta okay, and you gotta. Yeah, yeah, but this the this the this the I thing that. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. You consistent if that's the case, Thanks. but. He's the, the way that he explained it was you got to identify what those things are that got her. Most niggas don't. Most niggas just think it's just them and they just so cold, whatever, whatever they got going on, because our ego worked that way. But you ain't never took the time out to find out from this woman what actually made her like you from the jump. And, and that's going to And what it's going to what is, what is take for you to consistently maintain those things, regardless of what happened. So. If I start the way I start and come in keeping it real about who I am, why would it be difficult for me to live my life this way? Hey, that's what I'm saying. They like what you no, said. He just said this young nigga right here got damn serious. But he said that yeah. shit, and that's right. He kicking shit. I'm like, this nigga. That's why I feel cute. like the pandemic was shown. That's why everybody's breaking I up. I can't go to like, the nigga like, for marriage, but you know the relationship, this nigga know how to work this shit. But out. like you said, though, the way the, the male ego works, it's hard as fuck to separate the shit that your ego made you think right, happened, right. what really happened, right. and why she really fucking with you. Right. You it ain't it might not be none of this goof ass shit. What make your mind shoot straight to that and, and, and kill that part? Of it? Because you gotta know. For me, I gotta know. I grew up, you know what I'm saying, my father got killed. So I ain't never had no male by that male influence that you supposed to have. So I grew up around my uncles and my and the women in my family. All the women in my family were different, this to, to say the least. But I watched my mama go through relationships with dudes, and one thing I say that nobody ever did with her is keep it real with her. Keep it real with her from the gate because you don't really know who this woman is in comparison to who you are because you she don't know who the fuck you are. So she playing to a person that don't exist for real. You giving her a perspective of you that don't exist, who you really are at your core, who you going to be when ain't nobody looking and she ain't around. That's who you need to expose as quickly as possible. So you ain't never got to stray away from that. You ain't got to think about what you're doing. You ain't got to think about who you are. You ain't got to think about how you're moving because she didn't already seen who you truly are. Let me ask you this. The, the realness that you keep, right? Do, do you think that you will miss love if with the person that can actually make you a better person, it with the how real you keep it? Like no. you're telling the bitch like, I'm, yo, we ain't never get married. No, 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 not at all. That means I'm gonna be able to experience that love from multiple people. Mm. I'm about yeah, to I'm see, now you done, you see, now you done changed the whole dynamic mic. of the uh, uh, show. Year, uh, uh, man, you got everybody got, in this motherfucker yeah, I'm confused this month. Man, fix this microphone, man. God damn. God, God damn, damn it, Chico. What the fuck? Listen, Chico. 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 God damn it, you just left me, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? Have you ever seen your mama happy with a man, though? Yeah, but... Bro, that shit didn't turn into I, a whole therapy. Until she found out who the nigga therapy. was. Until she found out who the nigga was, yeah. But this is what I'm saying, man. You probably have a different perspective if you seen it happen the right way. Maybe, but what is the right way? That's what the I'm right saying. The right way is fucking with a real nigga that never lied. But we already done established that don't exist. No. It exists in my world. My well, world. You, okay, let me ask you this. You grew up with your mom and your dad, yes. right? And they've been married your whole life. Yes. If you were to find out your mom, your pops had three other bitches yep. throughout your life, would you would that make you look at him differently as a man? No. Not at all. No. If you found out your mama had three other niggas, would it make you look at her differently as your mama? No. So why does that shit matter? That's why I don't know that. 
Ooh. Oh, see, you so you confuse you see, I, the niggas. That, that, see, you just hit that nigga with some life calculus. <laughs> and that's the shit I've been trying to explain. That's Under certain circumstances, if level. shit happens a certain way, that shit will level. cause a nuclear but reaction. Carlos, Carlos, because it ain't worth the grand scale of the shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we basically say anyway. All, all these the, niggas ain't shit. All of this shit is only perspective anyway. Exactly. Yo, nigga, one man's trash is another man's garbage. It's the same fucking ah! thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> it's all of, shout out to my nigga Jack Thor for that. Ah! Thing, <laughs> That's, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> shit you can actually live by. Don't none of this shit matter if you no marry matter. or you get some pussy. Hey man, last week he's in the books, man. And now it's time to prepare and take a look at this week. You did. There is no other place to get in on all the action than with DraftKings. Official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. And to add to this week's excitement, DraftKings has an official shot to win, a, what, $1 million of guaranteed prizes? You don't want to miss out. And if you haven't tried DraftKings yet, then you know what you need to do? Head on over to the DraftKings app. Go get it. And DraftKings has a free shot at millions of dollars in guaranteed prizes. You don't want to miss out. And guess what? You can draft up your lineup and feel the sweat like never before. I'm talking about every run, every catch. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> ain't no better feeling than DraftKings. It's simple. All you got to do is pick your lineup, stay up under your salary cap, and see how your team Calculate them digits. You did. Nothing adds to the excitement to the game like knowing that you can win a shot at getting millions. Huh? Come on, you don't want to miss out. Download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app right now using the code 85 South. A minimum $5 deposit required. Don't miss out on the action, okay? You can use our promo code 85 South and you can win millions in prizes with your first deposit. And that's code 85 South. Make it rain only on DraftKings. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Last night, <laughs> niggas go. Talking about that's what I'm saying. No, it, it ain't even about sex. Everybody fucking. Bro, we talking about so Bro, much it's, shit. it's deeper than some right. fucking. Yeah, it's deeper than but that. But that's what I'm telling you. That's all you know right now, nigga. Who gonna go help you pick out your goddamn? Shoes from the goddamn pharmacy with the Velcro strap. I'm it's deeper than some pussy, <laughs> nigga. Pussy gone. One day they gonna be them. You you gonna be on so much medicine. She gonna be on a bunch of medicine. Ain't no fucking. My daddy told me I'm be pussy rich forever. So yeah, well, I ain't that's what I'm that. saying. It's funny. Yeah. Pussy falling out the sky for certain niggas. But we get as much of it as you, like, you listen, can. So we already we, we, listen. We already planned for you to live to be like eighty. Exactly. <laughs> Feel me? And don't so by fall time you seventy five. By the time you but listen. By the time you seventy five. I don't think he be gonna be working with the one yeah, and yeah. the wizard. You feel me? The one and the wizard right. gonna be the play out. My uncle gonna be gone. See, he gonna be like, I, I eat it for something. That's what here. I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. You get to that right. point in your I life where you. you have to replace fucking with something else. You don't exactly. see the shit that old people do. Yeah, they they just go to Knoxville. I'm gonna go back to fingering. I'm gonna go back to fingering. I'm gonna go right back to fingering. I'm like, let me finger something. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. You know what I'm saying? Taste it a little bit. If I'm real, if I'm real freaky, I taste it. If that's all I can do. That's all I can do. What you want? What you want? You want me to taste it? You want me to taste it? I love it. I taste it. I ain't doing nothing. The freaky thing I can do is taste it when it bring it. I bring it out on the finger. Get the finger that's sticking in, run around. Smell it. You know what I'm let my homeboy, after I get through, let my homeboy smell a little bit. I it. You know what I'm saying? Let my, let my other homeboy hit it. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You feel me? Ah! You know oh, you that? shit, man. That's all I'm going, going back to finger. I'm going to get fun. Oh, my God. Old, man. Man. Yes, sir. That's all you can do. Yeah. Go back to finger. What, but back. back to the original. Welcome back to the 85,000. Welcome back to the but but back to your original question though about the the Dr. Dre shit that, uh -huh. that put us all into this. Like, do you? I'm gonna ask you this, bro, because you a nigga that has reached a level of success that most human beings would never achieve. Okay. So, you as a man, do you believe that whatever the things that she's asking for, she's entitled to? Yes, I believe. So you mean yeah, to I believe you get that. married right now, she can have half a shoulder length. Yeah. And she's entitled to it? Yeah, it's her. Off like, of loyalty and respect, right? Cause he loves no, it. But guess what though? A lot of niggas say, uh, bitch you wasn't with me shooting in the gym? Cool. But 
Did the fish go to the gym before you did? Would you come and jump with me in? No, nah, cause then it's gonna make me ask who the fuck she was at the gym with, bro. Like, that's you ain't said nothing about, about being in the gym you with this nigga. Gotta trust him, low. You gotta trust him. <laughs> no, I did. She I had plenty of opportunity to tell me who she was in the gym with. I don't got trust issues, but I'm from the I'm from the Research the public. Research the public. Cause what I got with her, she act like she didn't know where the gym was at. No, no, no. Research the public. Can we pull up the the request list of Dr. Dre's wife, please? Ex-wife. We don't know if that's true or not. That's true. He won? 1.5, and what was the 1.5 per what? That was the lesser charge. That that was the smallest charge ever because she was trying to charge him with, oh man, you running off with the name. You running off with like, it was almost like it was gonna be a billion dollar that's yeah, one. She was talking about hey. I need thirty thousand to brush my teeth, white bitch. This crazy Your though. I would have sent some. Like, that's one of that my point, biggest I would have sent somebody from Joyland over that bitch out. Exactly. That's one of Whatever my biggest fears. Though, visit bro. this bitch for me, Woody. Is that I fucking become a billionaire and then I be with somebody who be like, my pussy did that. I put all this work in. That's the bitch. You, and yeah, then you gonna really just say just because I got what you and got the other half. That your pussy did that? But Joe, I'm interested in your perspective as to why you think that she's entitled to what she's asked for. Why not even her? Oh, but no, no, why? I wouldn't I wouldn't per se say the situation that Dr. Dre in pertains to me. Right. I'm talking about to me. I would say to me, if I offered up something like that, for sure this woman has the uh audacity to ask for. If I even thought of it. You feel me? So if you know what I mean, in my case. I would say what 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 my fiance would be asking for. What would she ask? I, would, for? I think she would probably, you know, I think she would probably ask for something that she felt like meant a lot to me, and that's my music. And if it came in between us and getting married, I'll sacrifice half of it. Dro. Now this is the same nigga that said the most horrible shit I ever heard. Yeah. Like, At that know. point in time, it was but like y'all you, you don't know what she did bro. to me. I feel you, Dro. I feel you. No, okay, you the black bro. man. You don't get to be the victim in no situation. L- listen to this, bro. bro. That's a whole nother topic, though. All of this is per month. For, so this, this, uh, this Dr. Dre's wife. Yeah, per this, month. Okay, what's your? Oh name? lord. Nine hundred thousand a month for entertainment. One hundred and thirty. Oh, the whole what, time out. What she got? Chippendale. No, 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 no. We gotta read through the list. <laughs> read through the list. And let this marinate in your spirit. Right. Nine hundred thousand a month for entertainment. One hundred and thirty-five thousand a month for clothes. Twenty thousand a month phone bill. Ten thousand a month for laundry. So, if, so, if, so if I came here and my clothes stink, I can go shoot this bitch in the head. <laughs> I'll just push it. So, I'll just push it. No, I, my bad. <laughs> Ten thousand a month in laundry, and one hundred thirty-five thousand for clothes. Fuck it. So, ten thousand a month, a month in per month in laundry. You know what that sound like? He married his baby mama. Don't marry your baby mom. No, nah, see? We trying to teach you. No. Nope. Don't you marry your baby mom. We done had ours. Yeah. I ain't trying to. I got 17 children. I ain't trying to. I got 17 children. No How many kids you got? I was just bullshit. Oh, I was, I was about to I'm say. I'm trying to scare him. With Drew, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You like, nigga. I got seven. three kids. Oh, good. Okay, that's and, good. And impossible. Oh, shit. Oh, that nigga got a bad shit. face hand. That goddamn possible. It's, that, it's always that Boy, possible. Boy, that one. Hey. Impossible. You ever had a possible? Oh, it's more. No, cool. Wait, there's more. It's just no. like the OxyClean commercial. We're not going to speak on that. 60000 a month for tuition slash living. Mm-hmm. Tuition, I don't know. Like, aren't they kids grown? Okay, so, so I don't know. So they kids like 40 tuition. and they still got 125000 a month for charity. Yeah, and who, then 100000 a month for, for your grandma. 100000 So let's let's read it all together. Okay. So let's start from the top. 900000 for entertainment. Okay. 135000 a month for clothes. Cool. 20000 a month for email and phone bill. Stop. 10000 a month for laundry. I said stop. 60000 No, I'm not stopping. Can't cool. stop, won't stop. 60000 a month for tuition. Mm. 125000 a month for charity. Charity. And then 100000 a month for mortgage. I can't do math, so I don't know what that equal out to. I mean, well, but I don't know if I would be willing to give a woman that puts out that energy. energy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like say for instance, I'm in court <coughs> and I'm telling the judge, hey, like, um, I wanna just, you know what I'm saying, let her know that I ain't in here on that. You know what I'm saying? She can get half of this, half shoulder. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, you I, think like, you, you I would like to, to say to that. The judge? 
I don't get talked to a judge. No. This is divorce court. Divorce court. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just get to go in there and listen. Mm-hmm. You talk to litigation. Your lawyer. Yeah. Oh, litigation. Shit. You go in the room and tell your lawyer what you willing to come off. I she did, go I in did the room this with before. her lawyer. Let me tell you what happened. <clears throat> I did this before. So we back there litigating. And that was the worst shit ever. Yeah. Like, I didn't get a chance to say nothing but had really It's happened. worse in divorce court because you were going to be the villain. Well, I was doing the child support thing, so. But not really. Well, that's, that's kind of the she same. Didn't get that. She didn't get that. I mean, but still. Well, it's a negotiation. So they're trying to traumatize <laughs> But let, let, her, let's flip it. Her thoughts. Let's her flip her it. Let's flip it, though. That's what I'm saying. You always got to try to look from the other perspective if you can. Let's flip it. Let's say that her asking for all of that, what do you think? contributed to her asking for all of that. Like, what makes you feel like, as niggas, what makes you feel like she was entitled to ask for all that? Because for if she been with a motherfucker for 20 years. That's what makes her, that's exactly what it is, the 20 years. Time. It might not even time. be, I don't know. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I think, I think that if, if what puts a woman in that position to even ask for that and makes it valid, mm-hmm. I think she spent time. Time. You can't time buy, is money. You can't buy time. And she probably was living like that with uh, Dr. Drake. But so you know what makes her wrong? You take your living lifestyle and then once we're not together, you you still portray that on me. Like right. I'm supposed to take Because care. that's what you agreed to. Oh, no, as not, a man, as not, as not, not after we divorced. No, 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 no. Yeah. But you didn't agree to divorce. You agreed till death do us part. So right. since you broke that agreement, <laughs> but, then, then you have but, to but deal guess with what? the consequences It's this little thing that got called divorce. If this don't work out, Right, and before I just destroy myself, I can go get this and then rebuild Either way, myself. you still coming up off something. Yeah, you still gotta lose. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Right, you, so, and it is like, no, you don't have to lose. It's a prenup. It, it seemed like to me, in his case, it wasn't cheap with her to keep her. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, she nah. probably was taxing his ass every motherfucker day. I'm gonna divorce your ass. Yeah, probably, probably. But I don't yeah. agree with. I don't she agree was with. Like, it. Okay, nigga, we can go to war. I'm asking for this, this, and that. Hey, she you, get shit now. She blow. No, no, no. She's going to get something. Don't say she. There's it no such be, thing. It, as it, it won't be. Shit. Let me tell you something. When I found out that lady was finna take all that shit from Dr. Dre, I don't know Dre. I was totally upset. I was hurt too. I, I wasn't upset. I if was I hurt. see this bitch round now, bank here. Yeah. Don't say it. <laughs> Stop, bro. Oh, what you fuck? Bro is fuck. Stop, bro. Today, FDB man, FDB. Uh, Stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> FDB, FDB. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second, guys. <laughs> Bitch, you I'm sorry Bitch, too. You sorry. Ugly. Your a little scary. <laughs> Bitch, I want to get married. married. That's what he said. You said that. You're At the time, change. y'all don't know what she did to me. She spit in my face. <laughs> she spit in my face. <laughs> she kicked my mom. Be like Joe, you getting fat. Everybody don't get. Me to eat silly. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I don't agree with that shit either way. Cause when when uh, who was that that got divorced and had to pay the nigga, the child to pay the nigga the spouse? Who was that? Mary J. Blige that had to pay a nigga uh-huh. per month. Yep. That's bullshit. It's that's Mary that's J. Blige. Bull- I don't give a fuck. That's fucked up. Mary got to get that goddamn uh, dancery money <laughs> one, away. That's fucked one up. One time, one time oh, it no. flipped. Hey, you man. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about one time. I don't agree with. I'm a, I'm an equal See, opportunity nigga. That's the only nigga. time I heard somebody paying child. But look, bro, what I if he put girl. Mary through enough shit to make her write all them hit songs? He could have been the inspiration. All her slaps is when she hurt. Right, because I'm saying right. like, because when you remember when, when, she she was, was, when she was going down, I went down right. with her. Because you remember I went first when she was happy, and then she came out with all them happy songs. Yeah, them happy my songs. mama was Cause like, I'm, I'm going to live my life. My life, he was just fine. And then she had all them happy ass songs, right? And then she didn't she do shit. And then he started pissing off what she started doing. Came back on tour, singing all the old shit with a different hurt in her heart. Right. Opened but, up to oh, a but, whole another market. But, but that's true, Lowe's. But all them hurt songs she had, but that came from KC, one he, of them niggas. But check this out. So he had to re hurt. He had, he had for to shit. reignite that He had fire. answer for a motherfucking thing. That nigga's that. riding around on niggas' shoulders now. He's straight. So I don't think why. But if you think about what he getting, though, bro, it's really bird shit. It's really like, yeah. it's hood. Yeah. He ain't really get over in the grand scheme of things. You can't like the judge, that. the judge probably looked at that nigga and felt sorry for him. Like, God damn, man, you finna, you ain't finna get all this money. Get a little now, nigga. Now, Britney Spears, baby. Get a little baby nigga, nigga 30,000. Britney Spears, baby, that's another good example. Now, he getting a check. Yeah, Sersky. Listen, I wish I was home. I wish I was home, man. I ain't got that, baby. Look, hey, what you been do? Shit, Britney Spears, my baby, mom, what you finna hey, do? You, hey, <laughs> you might have wanted the old Britney Spears. You don't want the new one. I don't want the, I don't want Britney period. I just want to be a baby dad. 
<laughs> nah, you can keep, you yeah, keep, you keep the whole hey. ball. Hey, leave that one on the yeah, table. Yeah. Leave that one on the table. And now we do <laughs> see. I'm glad you brought it up because we do need more of that. We do need more celebrity women to get involved with just regular niggas for a minute, have a couple kids, and leave a nigga a check, and we can live happily ever after. Yeah, mess together. with a couple. We of are people. totally fine with I know being so baby many daddies. People. Listen, man, I got so all many these women in the WNBA and all these professional women making all this money. Black women, the fastest group Bro, of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in the country. Here. They the can start the saving woman. niggas at this point. I know it's fucked up in the grand scheme of things, but think of all the successful women who be like, black men are intimidated by my success. <laughs> yeah. Go talk to the nigga you want to be like, I got 3,500 right now. I know you can't file your taxes. Because your child success. support fucked up. She hey, should be right to the I, I tell the nigga all the time. Go build the nigga you want. That nigga like, I can work with that motherfucker. <laughs> you, you know what the- You, you know invest 3,500 yeah. in the average nigga. And, yeah. and you know what the women it. said? So as I invested that nigga, he going to go get with the next bitch. That's Exactly. It it might not be the nigga for you. And guess what? If she balling like she say she is, she can invest in a look. You get to, uh, one out of five. You got to do the yeah, yeah. Like I told Kim Circle Kardashian, that Kim money Kardashian back in the come fuck my cousin named Dre Way. All everybody can come on here and get some. I got twelve cousins that will fuck all the Kardashians tonight. <laughs> And not even the ones that's famous. That the ones that's the cousins, the yeah. fat ones that they don't put on camera. Listen, man, we'll have the one with the hairy ass arms. Yeah, you listen, think they don't got some cousins that they ain't mixed in like a motherfucker. Joy and L.A. Carbone, everybody mixed in. Cheer coming from the side. The I ones that will never be on the show. You think it's just them five people in the whole family? Get the fuck out of here. That's bad. Yeah. Nigga, they got some relatives that they don't even want you to hey, know. Two, two, cold, two of the little sisters, I got two little cousins. Bruh, Come over here, with They got an uncle out. who don't even speak a lot of English, man. You walk in the house, he just hits you with one of these. He point on his cheek, he point to the sky. He don't even want you to talk to him. Look, as soon as you look at the sky, he's like, hey, be like uncle, I miss you so much. Too much to talk to you. Just, just... <laughs> No, unk disappear after he do like this. When she look up there, you look up there, and then so look back down. Like, where unk go? Unk be disappearing. He's like, do like this, and then disappear Come on, right man. out. They got the motherfucking uncle who got the shoes that really curl up. Bro. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's oh, next level. That's that's the, 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 the genies. The elf? Yeah, the good genies. Soft tacos. There's something they got. They my, all these women out here singing all these songs and shit? Come on, bro. It's time for hood niggas to just take over again. That's what we need to got to come back though, nigga. The hurt you niggas. Know, like, hurt niggas don't make songs about being hurt no ooh, more, man. That's bad. Niggas don't sing about when they get fucked over no more. There was a whole genre in the nineties when niggas see about that from it, what, what year did it stop, Los? Like what year did you say niggas stop admitting that women broke their heart? I'm gonna tell you exactly when R&B when niggas stopped reaching for the ass. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm gonna ooh, tell you exactly. Uh, I got the exact gift. Uh, ooh, I remember the timeline. What did, what is it? All the way up until for real, like 1998, 1999. You gotta keep in mind, 1999 was the year the cash money records was officially the hottest shit ever. Everybody was- Yeah, from the 99 yeah. to the 2000. See, but see what I'm saying? But it was really like the end of 98, because niggas started getting, that's when everybody- When Juvie, was Juvie really changed moment. my life though. Juvenile changed my life. Salute right. to Juvenile. Salute to Juvenile. Like, One of the coldest niggas to ever like, rap, and like, don't get the credit he deserves. Don't get the like, like big time, really big time. Like, yeah, that was the kid. Like, you know, Rocco had me doing stuff with Juvie before I even had a deal. That's like, another no, nigga. No, you ain't telling Rocco. Hold Salute you gotta... to Rocco, man. That man, nigga get up. cold Listen. with it. Listen, man, we we get Juvie here. You know, Rocco whip our bank on the bus. That's yeah, tall. man. Want you to rap with this cat here, Juvie? Like, who is he? I right, shout out to you for bank heads. He, he finna out rap you, just don't worry about it. But shout out to get on it with shouting. You feel me? Me, him, uh, Jazzy Faye, Monica, all of us did like, we had like we had like a CD out back then. It was dope. Yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't famous yet though. I wouldn't come out till like about five years later. Damn. Yeah. So you got to work with Juvenile five years before you actually got on? Yeah. yeah. Bunt B. Damn. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Turk, uh, Jazzy, Monica. Rocco made all this happen, though. Damn, Rocco, salute man. to Rocco, man. Rocco, Rocco. Yeah. And that nigga Cole. We gotta get Rocco in the trap, man. I Come fuck with a Rocco. About this morning. I ain't say, man. I'm like, I'm salute to this nigga. I'm like, nah, Y'all kinda look like you. brothers, though. You sure Rocco ain't your daddy? Yeah. I was just fucking around. 
just trying to dab and dab. That's a good thing that you just said though, like with like being afraid to say what's up to niggas. Like mm. I had that happen to me. It rarely happens, but I seen Alan Iverson outside of the Lennox Mall, nigga. I couldn't say nothing to that. Yeah. I was too starstruck. I ain't never been starstruck. You seen doo doo? That my L- boy. Listen, I ain't never been starstruck before this point, man. I walked out of Lennox Mall and seen AI and he was talking to Monica. Mm-hmm. And I walked out and seen that nigga. I was like, oh. Shit, cause that's like my nigga, that's my Jordan. Yeah, he, yeah, I grew yeah, up man. watching that nigga. And that was the first time I ever seen somebody that I couldn't say was up to. That's why I don't trip off motherfuckers who see me and be like, see, man, I, I wasn't gonna say nothing. Rocco, it's just, Rocco is just a such respected nigga. He had breakfast and I'm like, I don't wanna be the nigga that say something to you at breakfast this morning. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, just know I know. You I would've walked over that nigga table and be like, what's up, Rock? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you sound Joe, nigga. He, he done ate Bobby that nigga man. hush puppy off his plate. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey look, I need a rock on stupid hell. You ever, you ever had a motherfucker make you see them, had you starstruck? Man? Well, uh, I, uh, the, the white guy, the, um, the mafia guy. Um, Scarface? Mm-mm. That's not a real mafia guy. No, Got he, it? He playing heat. You talking about a real mafia motherfucker? Oh, Al Pacino? Pacino? Not average. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Oh yeah, that one. Hey, I'm gonna tell you one that fucked me all the way up. Oh, and this this shit fucked me up. I was at the airport one morning just chilling. You know how you see everybody at the airport coming, going. Nigga. I'm in that motherfucker. Stand on the train. Everybody get in there. Last motherfucker walk on. Get right in front of me. Looking for, like right where Lewis. Motherfucking Rick Flair. Uh, and you know what? Why it fucked me up? I was gonna say something, bro. I like right play. then, but I ain't. If I would have said it in there, it would have fucked, fucked the whole up. Fucked up, yeah. So exactly. I waited till we got out. But the part that fucked me up was this motherfucker head is so, so big. Big. Yeah. I, I seen Ray Flair in the mall. Like, this one got the biggest head I ever seen. I seen Ray Flair in the mall in Charlotte. Got the biggest head I ever seen on a human being. You oh, seen Peyton Manning in person? Yeah. That motherfucker. Yeah, he used to come to. Old Miss game plan. Eli was playing. I used to see this motherfucker. His head is like this. Hey, man, they got this. What's them statues that they got the big head? What's the name of them statues? Hey, man, the head that big. Huh? No, no, no. The statue. That nigga head this big. That nigga be eating people. He be eating people. What's the name of him, man? I can't think of the name of him. Huh? No, nigga, it's like a, 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 a one of the one of the seven wonders of the world. Stone hands. That nigga shit shaped like a stone <laughs> hinge. <laughs> that nigga shit shaped like a stone hinge statue. Yeah, man, I, it's crazy when you see motherfuckers who be like extra, extra famous. Cause so you, especially if you see them more than once. I seen Michael Jackson one time. Get Great. the fuck out of here. At, at the Venetian. Damn, he looked like a ghost, huh? Well, like he looked like the movie Powder. You ever seen the movie Powder? If you saw that, it was, Damn, it, was, it was like. It don't sound good to me. I seen it. It's got cool. It. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Damn. So, so this I was nigga like, said like, powder, my nigga. You never seen powder? Uh-uh. Watch powder, bro. Hey, man, you ever seen a motherfucker? And then you see him again. And like the last time you saw him, you swore they was a different height. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> That's some hot shit. Bro, I be seeing motherfuckers sometime and I be like, nah, I know for a fact this nigga was tall. I that. thought Gip was tall from Atlanta. Big Gip? Big he Gip. Not, from, no, no. Gip. Nah, he not tall. Yeah, yeah. Gip ain't really I that, thought bro. Gip was tall as hell. I was like, that nigga Gip Ooh, got Ooh, that dude was like Michael Jackson. Ooh, shit. That's, That's scary. Up. I'd probably go to hell for that. No. Nah, nah, you good. Nah, that nigga, uh, right. he done done some shit. Yeah. What if did Michael, you say something? Did you get to Michael say something, Jackson Michael? Might you be did. Nah, actually, you know, we. I thought I was a star. So when I seen that happen, I was like, I ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Mike. Put so you Mike, in perspective. Mike came out there. People was actually having seizures, full blown seizures. Sometimes you got to be mm-hmm. around the motherfuckers, man. Yeah, Mayweather did make you... that Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Mayweather did the boy, that. The boy Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was acting when I seen that nigga. I'm There's the boy myself. Floyd Mayweather. You heard to keep it real. I seen Floyd girl, in Miami. Look at my direction. Floyd was behind me, so I'm thinking she peeking and ain't speaking. Y'all talking about Floyd? Yeah, I, I think she peeking and ain't speaking. Me. She walked, oh I saw God, Floyd God. Mayweather throw so much money in the strip club. The strippers cried. That's a fact. That's crazy. I saw the I had a you know how niggas like different make it rain. Man, man, nigga made it rain for about eighteen songs. I, I was at a comedy show and Floyd said, "I got fifteen hundred 
uh, for anybody can go on stage and say something funny. A girl said, oh, I can't. She went on stage and said, something funny. And then some people laughed, and then Floyd just gave her 1500 That was just a soft flex, like shit. That was Man. my, hey, that was my own. <laughs> what what y'all do with the money, Joe? What, what y'all do with good, that? Good hair on, clean needle. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, this thing crazy. I don't, I don't know what the heck we got to play this on HBO. I know, man. Oh, 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 oh no, I can't. Good hair, rod, clean needles. You put on dog food. You know how hard it is to get clean needles in the hood, nigga. That shit, I grew up around dope my whole life. That is a hard comeback. You gotta know somebody working the urgent care. Who got clean needles? Get clean needles. Oh man, who got now, I met that nigga Floyd on the humble nigga. I'm in Miami. I took my daughters on a birthday trip. My daughter and her friend. And uh, I went to the, the whatever mall that is, I can't, the uh, Aventura Mall in Miami. Mm. So I went to go get some Cheesecake Factory for the kids and I'm running trying to get back because they calling me, we're hungry, where are you? So I'm running through the Macy's, nigga. I run, you know how they got the four ways set up with the clothes on them. I'm running through the four ways trying to find the door I parked at and I ran and ran right in the Floyd, nigga. I'm like, oh shit, my bad, dog. and I ain't bumping oh, like, tall. I ain't bumping tall, oh, but I almost did. I was like, oh shit, my bad, nigga. He was like, oh no, nah, you good. I looked around, this nigga had the monsters surrounding me, nigga. I'm like, oh, nigga, these the biggest human beings I ever seen in, my, in the world. I'm like, y'all niggas want some Cheesecake Factory? Y'all straight? <laughs> like, that sh I ain't never seen the, this nigga walk, Floyd walk around with some monster built nigga. That's a fact. They, I mean, the biggest human beings ever, I dog. I seen Floyd without seeing him one time. Listen, security was surrounding him. My, my first, my first, my him. first, my first time meeting Floyd, like, on a straight up level, <laughs> That was the weekend Tip went down there to, to, to mess with him. <laughs> so my time, my first time, them people who you talking about, the monsters, uh -huh. we was into it with them. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I know, I know. They so. kicked me on the roof, came up there and got me, brought, throwed me downstairs. I was like, all right, y'all just throw me every damn way. <laughs> It was so bad. I was like, Tip. I don't even know if you can tell this story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we it's true. We got to know. Hold it. That's the part. Also, that, uh, Young Bro has a tell all book that will be coming out in about 10 minutes. I won't be telling years. all. I'm just going to say this right now. Damn, you know, baby. That nigga Joe so said, with those big human beings, we were into oh, it yeah. with them. Like, but, no, that, that shit got out of hand. Fat, you was there. He gone. The nigga with the suit. Like, listen, my boy Fat was there. Listen, man. Shit got out of hand. That was my first time meeting Floyd, but uh, yeah, did you really meet him? I mean, yeah. what, like I'm like, oh shit, we are gonna kick him Floyd. And next thing you know, chip trying to <laughs> What the fuck is you doing? You can't fight the champ. Close! 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 Bro! Bro, what the fuck do you do? You my brother, I love you, my nigga, but if you come and just start trying to fight the champ, I'm like, this. Hey, look, hey, look, uh, he beat nobody wait, but everybody wait. in the world. Bro, my soul for real just left my Bro, that's, that's some a real up shit. Like, looks like, hey, come around with me. Yeah, because I'm going, I'm going, I'm going wherever, it's nigga, like, we going. Damn, Either way you make that call, we both coming. Like, nigga, we, we come ride with I'm me. There. I'm there. Listen, bro, I'm there. And a nigga show up and the champ there. Is this what you came to do? I never fought a nigga that I was starstruck by. Nigga, you just uh, imagine square number four. Like, like hold on, I'll tell I'll give y'all niggas the raw story, though. Like, we can't talk about it. Bruh. That shit is deep as, that shit deep. Bruh. Yeah. Man, we love everybody. Bro, I'm so fucked up right now. <laughs> Cause I can't imagine, bro. Just like you said, Chico. <laughs> we pull up and you ran at the champ, man. <laughs> like, bro, you telling me this is beyond talking? What the fuck? <laughs> Not even the champ. Time it's out. it's <laughs> these four other tall niggas that we got to work. Really for the fight. Time out. Like, did you? You didn't know prior. No. He, and oh, then we unprepared. Listen, listen, no, listen. The 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 heart of my of my brother though, like you know what I'm saying, what he was feeling. I think he would, you know what I'm saying. Last it didn't week. matter who it was. Me, like because like my my brother didn't speak that day. He was just chilling. I'm steady trying to feel him. I'm like, what's up, bro? You know, I'm just chilling. So we we end up going somewhere in Vegas. Then we pop up at this spot. He see him. He walk. Oh, there you go. He walk straight up on him. He walk clearly be between all the monster guys, like the big guys. Walked straight through him. They let him through. He got right up on him. 
and he whispered something in his ear, and he just seemed thought like, what you think I do for a living? Stop. That's it. That's enough. We ain't going no further than that. That's it. That's it. We ain't giving them. No, 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 no. no. We gonna leave it there. We gonna leave it there. We gonna gonna leave it there. That was my first time meeting Floyd. I don't. I remember. I don't remember another time. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? Like that was the only time I got to. I think one time he came up on me in in a in the bowling alley in Atlanta. He's like, "Oh, I fuck with your shit." I was like, I thought you knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy, man. Oh my God, dog. This nigga Dro is legend, man. Hey, man, man. this nigga is crazy. Crazy, my nigga. He'll say any guy. Oh man. my goodness, dog. Hey, man. Flow's like this shit ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas done changed the game. Why, yeah. y'all, listen, why y'all didn't tell me like it was pointers? Hey, man. Yeah, don't talk about <laughs> Nah, fuck that. <laughs> He getting no burn on this shit. Yeah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> I yeah. paid my tax. Me too. Fuck it. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, Devin. We're going to leave that at that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 2020. Bro, I appreciate y'all for inviting me out. This might this might have been like some bullshit. No, this, no, this is real shit. <clears throat> this is beautiful. Some beautiful bullshit. This is real <laughs> shit. It's, 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 it's on the top or the bottom. I was trying to be secret about it, but <laughs> so y'all let me like, Hey listen man, listen, that's legendary right there. Hey, the nigga hey, drove hey, wiped the booger on the couch. Nigga, that's the first guest ever <laughs> to wipe a booger on the couch, nigga. Anybody who sit there now, you gotta know you sit with Drove wipe that booger at, nigga. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen, it wasn't me, it was the couch. <laughs> Shit, man. Y'all you know my Bro, this is a whole y'all whole said it's the trap, nigga. Trap. This is what y'all started. Listen, I'd rather be in the Chevy digging boogers than paying too many taxes like Trump pay. <laughs> this nigga. I just, he couldn't figure out a finish and he had to just say the last thing he heard, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a classic right here, boy. Oh my God, Louis! You ain't even tell us about the comedy special. Oh yeah, Nothing. man! You just tell been us about the talking comedy shit special, man. About hypothetical marriages and shit, I just know. cooling in the trap. Man, yeah. drop the promo. Yeah, it's man. Promo what's time, going on? Man. Promo time. Tell them about what's coming <laughs> up, man. Um, oh, they, they, look, Lou got, got the comedy up? special coming out. We got um, Rick. We got Rick. We got. Oh, he was he ready to go. Comedy, he got he the got comedy, comedy special. special coming out. Cool. Comedy special coming out October 9th. Um, you know what I'm saying? Presented by Boogie Cousins, the Marcus Cousins. Salute to Boogie. Shout out to Boogie. Shout out to Boogie. Boogie. You went crazy on that motherfucker. We was on the same show, you know what I'm saying? So we had to separate it. Hey man, so- I got the craziest story about that Boogie comedy shit. Like Lou was on the show, he opened that shit. He from there, killed that shit. So it's like, he had to open up. That nigga rocked that bitch. So they were like, keep going, Lou. He's like, keep going. And he's like, I'm about to go. And the whole city's like, nah, fuck that on the town. What they gonna do? Niggas was going crazy. So Lou rocked that motherfucker, right? So we out trying to get a haircut and shit. Lou called the nigga. Lou called his homeboy from the hood, come up there and cut everybody hair. So all these niggas downstairs, why, you know what I'm saying? He uh doing his shit. This nigga cutting my hair. I'm like, bro, what I owe you? Man, this nigga fucking snapped. I don't know what the fuck this nigga was on. I'm talking about this nigga that lined me up, everything. This nigga was like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. It ain't about that. I was like, nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? It's about four young niggas that's, that got, I know they got guns on them. What the <laughs> fuck is this man, nigga mad about? Uh-huh. I don't know what the fuck happened. So hey, what type of niggas you he, bringing around? He, no, man. he was mad. Lowe's finna finish telling the story, but he was mad because he was on some, like, you know celebrities come in town. You know, I line it up to the point where he get to cut me and everybody. So he hit Los with a price on some celebrity shit like, oh, I need a hundred. And Los didn't even get cut. You know, Los, like, he get this shit hit. So Los like, huh? You know, so I'm like, Los like, bro, what's up, bro? I'm like, bro, I take care of you, bro. You don't got to pay a hundred. You feel me? Like, I'm going to get this straight. Yeah. And bro, try to pull the whole like, 
oh yeah, niggas better come up with the money like that, right? But we <laughs> on some TV shit, so I can't, I can't come on some like, hey, nigga, you know you talk. But keep in mind, I ain't even knowing this. This nigga just, I'm thinking everything cool, and then all of a sudden, like, why the nigga lying? This nigga get quiet. I'm thinking it's just because he lying me up. I ain't know this nigga mad about some money. I don't even know I owe him yet. But I'm, you gotta, you gotta understand. I'm more mad because I'm looking at it, bro. This is my city, so. Lost, he coming in town, so he don't know what's going on. I'm like, bro, tripping on. He trying to trip on some, on some heat in Oakland, uh. and you know everybody out of town, and you know it's comedians, so he trying to. I'm like, bro, this nigga not. You feel me? So you know, Lost, if you want to tell the rest of the story, shit, yeah. you know, you know, we in some shit. We in draw. Uh, we in we in draw. Yeah, we know what Lost is like, also like, I was like, bro, what's going on? You know, I had to take care. Of, you know what I'm saying? And you know. Los, I know Los was a real one because I he's just so smooth about it. But you know what I'm saying? You know, everything got structured because, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to tell the story. Yeah, I don't. Man. I really don't. I, I don't. Man, I don't know. Yeah. Man, but I, you know, everything was safe and sound. It was taken care of. Everything is Everything fine. was worked so out. It was a, okay. it, but that was before. I think we, that happened before the show. Because All I'm cut. saying is, you know, just get your shit cut. <laughs> before you go, you go to Oakland. Go, yeah, 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 Oakland is a, a real. Nigga might finish lining you up and be like, town business. You owe me three racks, man. I brought your shit. All the way back, homie. Your shit was fucked up, man. I'm telling you. Oh, nigga. mama's your shit was oh, twisted. Oh, mama's, mama, your oh, shit mama's, was way fucked up. Hella it fucked up. Of, it was a lot of shit to, with uh, that show. Man, I don't, I don't know what the fuck, but you had a great fucking set. Hey, you got, got the special coming out, out man. Yeah. Shout October out to night. that dude. Where's it going to be? On? Shout out to that nigga. Though. I don't Where know Luke. what the fuck he was on, but that nigga had me fresh. So salute to that yeah, nigga, man. Yeah, if that's what it takes to get a nigga fresh before the show, I don't want to be talking about them politics. I really be outside. What, but that where, was where, where, where they can find a special. But it wasn't even on no Prime, shit like that. Man. You know, Amazon, Amazon, and, uh, you Amazon know, Prime. Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Yeah, so a Prime Video for the niggas that don't know the difference. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's produced by myself. My team do too much alongside with Demarcus Cousins and stuff. So I got a lot of, uh, you know, it, it's representing me how I want to represent me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it got my music in there, Sonny Boat songs. It's the intro, the outro. I got a skit in front of it. And, uh, you know, as comedians, you know, you do your show. And it's like, you feel like your best sets, you don't got it on video. I know for me personally, I'd be like, ooh, that show, anybody got the footage? Right. Niggas don't be having it. This was like one of those shows that I'm like, I know I did my shit and it's captured with the best production I ever been a part of when it comes to the stand-up okay. comedy with DeMarcus Cousins. So this is a project I'm really, really proud of in the city, in this culture. You know, Oakland in the Bay Area gonna be proud of it, but I feel like the urban world, the culture for comedy gonna fuck with it too. Right. Can't wait to see it. That's what's up, man. Bro, I what, know what it bro, is. You bro, what, what you got, my nigga? We know that TikTok going crazy, my nigga. You performed oh. that on the 85. What else you got coming, bro? Um, well, sh well, right now we just promoting a new single, TikTok. You know what I mean? Promoting a new um, record label, Redline. Redline Record. Um, yeah. Man, um, they, you, 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 have you seen how your music is hitting this new, your new audience, your new wave of fans? So uh, yeah, well, like, you know, with the kids and everything yeah. like that, you know what I mean? So it was just me and my daughter going back and forth about yeah. social media, you know what I mean? TikTok and, you know, how much she knew about it. And daddy don't know that about it. So after I put my music down, you know what I mean? Hey, baby, how you like this? She was like, you got it, man. So it was pretty much cool. You know what I mean? I like going back and forth with this generation. Yeah. That's what's up, man. <coughs> yeah. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. What you got coming up, bro? Man, shit. You know what I'm doing, baby. Oh, yeah. 2020, nigga. Thirsty. Oh, yes, yeah, thirsty. Like we said. Don't play with you me. never know what I might come out with, nigga. I might get the motherfucking get color remix. purple. Remix. I might yeah. get the Whoopi Goldberg color purples next, nigga. That's what we coming with next, man. Right. We got right. some. So, we do got some dope shit. We great. So do that's those, what you're saying. Yeah. You just gonna go through all the famous. Hairstyles. All the famous hairstyles that I couldn't get when I was a young nigga. Oh. I'm getting them all this year. Yeah. That's what we doing. Really man. But we got some dope you shit. You gotta get that motherfucking comb over. Oh yeah, you know it. It's coming to W. E. B. Du Bois. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when w. you take the braids down, yeah. 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 Boys. <laughs> <laughs> when you take the braids down, hit him with the James. Evans. Oh, you know it. It's covered. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we working, man. We making the best out of th this situation that is 2020, man. And we got some dope stuff we great do. So you know, keep. Oh man. Yeah. I, hey, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm, nah, I'm, not I'm yet. Drop it. Yeah, not yet. Not I'm yet. Give him a teaser. Yeah, yeah, not I'm, yet. All I'm gonna say is two words. What's that? Squirrel. Uh huh. Man. Squirrel man. Squirrel. Yeah, man. that's coming. You better know that. Me, yeah, 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 yeah. That's new Remember shit. Remember that. Is that the title of my project? No. 
Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year, Boogie Comedy Slam. That's the title. Oh, all right, that's oh, what it is. Amazon Prime Video. You know what I'm saying? I so, salute you, man. I'm the John Moran of this year, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all, y'all LeBron of them, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm really John Moran out this year. Salute right. to you. Amazon Prime, October 9th, man. Young Grove, TikTok, right yeah. now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Man. Blue, blue, bitch ass, nigga. Blue, blue. <laughs> man, we need, a, we need an album or a mixtape or something, bro. All right, cool. So, following this TikTok song will be an EP. I'll give you like six, seven. You know what I mean? It, right. it depends on how the people spin. Right. Before, because I'm an older. Now that one we were saying, we were saying we got to be on that motherfucker. Like we need, we need an album. We need an album. You know what I'm us? saying? Yeah, us, like we need. Y'all to, stop. Nigga, Don't yeah. you scare me with no good time. Let's get in there. Oh, nigga, let's get in there. It's that, official. The ghetto need to hear us. Yeah, it's a certain way that we uh we connect. It's Sonny Bo. I know Sonny Bo gonna ask Chico. Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah we get. Oh, we something. got it, nigga. Oh, let's do it. Bro, that's let's the do whole it. plan. We're gonna take this shit to the bay. They gonna love it. Oh, they gonna. You know, I, I fuck with E40. Like motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So away. He come give me for verses, you know what I mean? I feel like I can do right. the same. Yeah, I feel like if we do some music, that nigga at the barbershop will stop tripping. <laughs> I, feel like that's, I feel like that was really what that whole shit was about. I was mad cuz y'all niggas ain't put no music out. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. If you could have let me cut you with some slap, it would have been cool on mama. Right. Right. It's gonna be somebody tripping. Hey, hey man, but that's, man. that's the thing about that. Yeah, Mr. That's what I love about this show. As soon as they hear that shit, niggas gonna hit me up. It's gonna be a hundred niggas. You ain't never got to worry about no haircut when you come to the show. Hell yeah. Nigga don't even cut you. Hell, when you come to this motherfucker, I love yeah. Oakland, man. Cause Oakland, they, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Man. Big get for real, man. You man know hey, look, what I'm hey, look, you, you see the you see real real handwork bullshit. when you go to Oakland? You ain't got to never worry about nothing when you come to town. Salute to all the Oakland niggas, man. Cookie money, man, motherfucker, yeah, goddamn, sure filthy man, rich nigga, all them niggas. niggas you know what I mean? All them niggas out there doing they shit. Sure. Man, since you shouting out, nigga, you know who I'm shouting out, nigga. The nigga who I said I'll never get shouted out, nigga. Ooh. Be legit. Be legit. <laughs> oh, be legit. Salute to be legit. Be legit. Be legit. Man, all them, the whole clique. That's the, the, the clique. I'm tired of being stepped on. That's my shit. I'm tired of being stepped on. True Look, story. Sugar Random tea. story. That's the first tape I ever got in my life was the click. The first wow, click really? tape. Yep, that's the first one. Listen, I got to be legit. Walk, I got to be legit with the cutlets on it, with the white top. Oh, yeah. See, the green, the green color. Yeah, I got this. That, that was my first tape. Yeah. The one with motherfucker, uh, let's get drunk and on then, it. Like in the future, we God did damn, a show yeah. and then be, be the Jews performing. Oh, that man. nigga loves me. That'd be funny. He be having me rolling when he comes to the bank. He just be naming niggas. I'm like, how do you know all of these niggas? Oh, yeah. We be tapped in wherever we go, man. That's the thing about us, man. We tap in with the niggas that's like us wherever we at. Because that's the thing. It ain't no different, man. You know what I mean? The the, the, the script is the same. The character's just different. Hey, and that's the the best part about, like, hitting the road is, like, going places that you've been and connecting with your family. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your niggas that's, that's actually in these other cities, but they gonna pull up wherever you at, man. I pull up. It don't matter where you can- I pull up on y'all in the Bay Area. Yeah, exactly. You in California, nigga, I'm yeah. pulling up, nigga. That's how that go. It don't matter where you at, this nigga always- Always there, there, nigga, somewhere, nigga. Hey, nigga, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Nigga, I feel Man, you know, this is the 85 South Show. This, this was the 85 South Show. And this always will be. This gonna continue to be the 85 South Show. So if you wanna come on the podcast and you ain't gotta worry about motherfuckers asking you all them questions like, where your mama house used to be? What you used to do for fun? What's your inspiration? All in the videos. All up in the motherfucking video. Bloop, bloop, and knowing that ain't they shit. Knowing they don't bloop, bloop. It did. You want to talk about underwater and hypothetical shit on a podcast, whatever on your chest? And promote your shit, and we still gonna have to goddamn cut that shit out, Drew. Said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come fuck with us in the trap. <laughs> I ain't never heard no shit like this. <laughs> we, we literally can't even put that out uh, right no. in this climate. No, not at all. It's too much backlash. Yeah, too nah, much backlash. We got too much goddamn respect for you. Yeah, we're really we gonna, gonna have to sit we gonna, there. We're gonna, put we a really PSA. gonna have to be in there and be like, hold up, go back. Nah. Go back. <laughs> right. Nah, go, that, that, we gotta cut this whole part that, that out. Whole part. You, yeah, we're gonna have to put the PSA. I'm gonna have to have one part. headphone. Yeah. No, nah, go back. Go back to 113. <laughs> it started right there. Yeah, it lasts all the way to 143. Can you believe that I hear, shit? I hear, I hear myself. Go back. Matter of fact, it's 116. Go to 116 and start stopping. 
All right, hey, right man. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna put a Bluetooth commercial right, right there. there. Right, we gotta cut it out. PSA, PSA for man. I wish. Show. Hey man, you know what you need? Some excitement in your life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Throw It All One back there. What's up? Man? Throw It All One. What it do, nigga? One. What's up, my nigga? I thought that was Blue Light. That nigga wild as shit. J O N, what's up? I see you there. Quit touching shit, though. Quick you know we going ghetto platinum. I need one new hoodie right now. I got you one. Bet. That's the, you know how we are. That's what it is. You know this is the 85 South show. Yeah. It's for, this podcast right here is for gangsta ass niggas that bite their fingernails. <laughs> All the way down till you got the Fred Flintstone finger. Right. This podcast, <laughs> this, this podcast is for niggas that pick boogers and wipe them on your couch. Yeah, nigga. Hey, like, it was the couch. Niggas that wipe their baby mama. Right. This podcast for niggas that I ain't gonna say it. Yeah, right. we just, might have to cut it out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You might have to cut it out. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my thing. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate y'all for coming out. You know what I'm saying? Shout Love out everybody. to everybody that outgrew all their tattoos. Yes, sir. That's hell. Shit, I just seen money bag on the motherfucker uh, Instagram today talking about getting this shit removed off his face. How bad it hurt. Money bag mafia. Yeah, money bag Shout mafia. Salute to money, money bag, bag mafia, mafia nigga. Yeah, it's He about to get this shit taken off. Yeah, he said he about to get it taken off, nigga. Damn. So that shit hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's the regret coming out. Yeah. I don't, I don't fuck around to, bro, motherfuckers who got face tattoos, they have a different perspective on everything. Them are not the type of people that you fuck with. Those two type of face tattoos, motherfuckers. People that really gonna do something, then niggas be trying to look like that, so they ain't gotta do something. I wouldn't, yeah, have, I wouldn't let you stick on. me in my face with no needle. Either way, man. I'm not trying to figure out which one you are. Yeah. I just feel like if you have tattoos in your face, you have transcended to a, a different dimension in this life <laughs> that I'm not going over there to prove shit. I'm not about to go against a motherfucker who was like, do this to my face. That's different. <laughs> they ain't thought about who. Stood there like this right, br bruh. Like, do niggas get face tapped in their eye? They, they close their eyes like this, man. They gotta look at the I Hey, look, one of my homeboys got a tattoo around his eyeball. What? How he living? He good? Good. What? Like this? In his eyeball, like around him. He got like. He got like, yeah, bitch on this side. What the fuck? He got like, he got like, he got like, no, he probably is definitely not. He's not bullshit. You don't see how them people back there like, damn sure? Yeah, damn sure, that's my cousin. Listen, listen. He put yeah, bitch around his eye? Yeah, bitch. Ooh, I'm glad that nigga ain't here today. His baby mama asked him, uh, uh, you geeked up? And then he talking about, yeah, bitch. I was here, I was jumping. I was like, I don't know. Okay, check this out. So, my cousin, Got a fuck you tattoo with the middle finger like this, right here on his forearm. Ever since we was in high school, he had this fuck you tattoo. So we used to just be like, it just lay like this, like move his arm when the teacher be talking. He just always was in trouble with this fuck you tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Uh, yeah. Wow, tattoo stories. That's a whole nother segment. That's a whole nother segment. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. You dig? This is 85 South Show. I think it's time for us to get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Drew got shit to do. Yep, my, my second baby moment, it's her turn. All, All right, right. I'll see you in a minute. We hey, out of this. We out of this.